I put my lifetime in between the paper's lines. Real. I wake literally, bro. I like literally wake up, <clears throat> go in the bathroom, do my thing, come downstairs, we pod. Like literally, you gotta, bro. You gotta give yourself an hour or two, fam. Bro, I literally, bro. I be give yourself an hour or two, Mike. Like just wake up an hour beforehand. You might watch some TV or some shit. No, watch your doctor sleep right now. I do wake up early. Oh, I wake up early. I get myself like, but I still be in the bed though. I literally don't get out of the bed until we record at what eight o'clock Central Time. Yeah. So I don't get out of the bed until seven thirty. Damn, nigga. I take about fifteen what minutes. What do you in do the, with your life, nigga? Fifteen minutes in the bathroom, and then fifteen minutes to set up, set up everything. Nigga, half my day be done <laughs> by nine. You a busy man. Damn. The weekends is my free day, bro. By nine. Fam. Sunday. Sunday. You can say Sunday is my free day. Still, like, half of my day be done by nine. Now you wake up early, bro, because you're getting older. No, I've been doing that. I've been doing that since high school. That's crazy. I be trying to see what the fuck going on in the world, nigga. I feel you. I, I think I might. I'm a... But I don't like going to sleep early, though. I don't go to sleep early. Like, I, go... it, depends on, it depends on what happens. But I might. What, what time you go to bed? Let me see. What was early, late for me, early for you? Um, like on a weekday? Yeah, I could possibly be asleep by eight thirty now. Oh, nigga, that's early. No, I don't like that though. <laughs> that's nigga, that's early. Like some well, if the, if I'm tired as shit, you'll see me in bed by nine unless I'm like, like I've been sleep deprived and I just nod off because I I could be narcoleptic sometimes. Right. Yeah. But shit, like ten o'clock, <clears throat> eleven. Wake up at six, no five. Mm-hmm. Wash my ass and shit. Eat, <clears throat> right. And then I'm taking <laughs> care of my sites. I got six sites I got to deal with. And that's just in DC. Mm-hmm. Then two in St. Louis, so that's eight. And then if I got to if one of my one of my editors is out of uh, on vacation. That's between four to six sites right there. Yeah. Like one of my editors, my editor in Indianapolis, she on, she on vacation starting Monday. So, shit. Oh, yeah, I got to send that plan out. You a busy man. You have a lot of responsibility. I do. Man. With, with great power mm-hmm. comes great responsibility. There you go. That's what that is, man. There you go. That's what that is, Jack. <laughs> Some dude pod. Yeah, episode four. Where we at? 48, 48. baby. Nigga, we had 48. 48. The first 48. Ah, okay. shit. Okay. Man, hey, if you're on Apple Podcasts, I'm going to throw something out there, too. I'm going I'm to throw something out there, too. <clears throat> like, yeah. um, Because, you know, we got the pod. We got the pod merch going. So make sure you. we want you to rate. We want you to like. We want you to oh, subscribe, oh, download. Oh, oh, I'm looking at Apple Podcasts right now. I see what, oh, they did, they did upgrade it this shit? So, yeah. So, so. Announcement. So announcement number one. That's right. Um, for those who check out our pod and they also check out um, Banging on Lunch Tables with uh, Camp from the Port and Mike B, they have eventually. Mike, they, uh, Mike Jones. I mean, excuse me, Mike Jones. Excuse me. It's, it's two <clears throat> mics on the squad. They have officially joined the What Digital Podcast. So we've set it up where we're going to set it up. We set it up differently. You know what I'm saying? We got them. We got us. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be on one feed. So now if you go to Apple Podcasts, if you go to to Google Play, if you go to Stickta, wherever you listen to podcasts, type in some dude, dot, 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 and you will find Mike B. J. R. Bain. Make sure you rate, like, subscribe, download. Shouts out to Banging on Lunch Tables. Make sure you rate, like, subscribe them. They are now within the, the What Digital, so we two podcast in. Also, fire. Also, if you are a listener of the pod, this is what Bang is going to do for you. All right. If you listen to us on Apple Podcasts and you rate and comment, you will be entered 
in a contest where we're going to randomly pick people the end of the month and send you a piece of merch. Okay. Right. Okay. So Drop at the them. end of starting today, because it's July now, we already give you 20%. Now right. you're getting it for the free 99. But if you rate and comment, I'm going to take that. I'm going to put you here. At the end of the month, I'm going to randomly pick one of you motherfuckers. Excuse me. To go ahead and win a piece of merch. Okay. I like that. I like that idea. Sounds like a plan to me, bang. All right, y'all. So y'all know what it is, man. After the podcast or during the podcast, before the podcast, scroll on down, drop that review. Um, don't let us. it be no and don't 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 let it be no whole ass shit just so you can be in. Like, hey, love the pod. Love the Thanks. pod, guys. <laughs> love the pod, guys. No. Tell us some shit that you liked or didn't like in the pod. Where did you disagree? Where did you agree? Right. I really let don't know, know what motherfuckers disagree. More than anything, though. They be they they get on it. What the, what can be killing me is that they're do they're doing in the some dude pod group, which is perfectly fine. Yeah, that's fine, but that's fine too. But drop that shit in the comment section on the Apple Podcasts as well. If y'all listening on Apple Podcasts, y'all can do that. So yeah. we can have the we can engage in conversation everywhere. Okay, everywhere. Yeah. So right, that's what we doing, man. But yeah. yeah. Also, you know what I'm saying? If you if you're not ready to wait on the free merch, go on the website. Bang! What's the website? Teespring. Um, Teespring.com slash store slash store slash first mean first. Look, I got too many podcasts. Um, yeah. Some do pod merch store. But you can just click the link in our bio, man. Click the link in the bio. Grab some merch. Uh, yeah, we got the quote tees. We got the face tees. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's just what it is. 20% off right we got now. The, the what logo tees. Come on, fam. Get in tune, all right? Get that merch. Bang, that it's, merch. it's the fourth. Happy fourth. Happy fourth, fam. Happy fourth. You just shared a very um interesting post on the book. Yeah, what? what uh, which one? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. About like exactly what's going on. Like it might be some confusion or, you know, you know, there are people that's going to feel a certain way about today based off everything that has gone on in the oh, world damn, these fam. past months. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Barbecue absolutely. today. I'm exactly. Sure. But, I wish I was at home. Mm-hmm. I wish I had some links. So, you shared a very interesting post. It pretty much that says black people. We don't celebrate American holidays for their true meanings. Which is this was before before all of this shit has has happened this past year. This has still been a fact. We don't celebrate American holidays for their true meaning. We're just happy to be off work and we get to eat and drink with the fam. That's it. That's it. That's it. So don't take it too seriously, guys. If y'all see people out there enjoying, you know what I'm saying, this beautiful weekend off on the fourth of July and they eating. There's no reason to get all self righteous. Black Lives Matter. We, you know, what I'm saying all that shit. Fuck your barbecue for. Please, there's no need for all of that. All right. I like to barbecue, nigga. <laughs> there's no reason to get on here and do all of that. Let black people, you know, what I'm saying, celebrate this day how we want to celebrate it. Because at the end of the day, we ain't celebrate Independence Day. We celebrating the Fourth of July. Yeah, no <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna sing black you're not gonna sing lift every voice and sing today Mm-mm. and you also, but if you want to you can you can yeah it'd be good. but you also are not going to sing uh america the beautiful no and you're not gonna sing the national anthem either no we're and not. by the way it is lift every voice and sing over America the Beautiful over the Star Spangled Banner. Like, they should just eliminate the Star Spangled Banner all together. And, <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> and no, 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 listen to me. Like, excuse me, because I be saying like too much. I hadn't noticed that, so I'm going to try to work on that. Um, mm-hmm. America the Beautiful is better mm-hmm. than the Star Spangled Banner. Mm-hmm. Okay. Been listening to America the Beautiful for years. If you watch wrestling, you watch yep. WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Vince McMahon ass. Vince McMahon play America the Beautiful. Yep. Four beautiful. Yep. Four spacious skies. And the <clears throat> waves of grain. Mm-hmm. For, that's a beautiful ass song. 
whether you like America or not. <laughs> it's a beautiful ass song. Mm-hmm. America, America. God shed this grace on thee. Crown thy good with brotherhood. We see the sign of sh- shining sea. Like, yeah. that's a great song. Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful song. Fuck the Star Spangled Banner. Mm-hmm. Play America the Beautiful today. If you okay. white and listen to the pod. <laughs> Niggas, just do what you do. It's a Saturday, so you're off anyway, unless yep. you work in retail. Or you're essential. Or you're essential. Well, I mean, mostly retail is going to be open today and food joints. Mm-hmm. I'm going to look on DoorDash and mm-hmm. see who got some barbecue today. Okay. So you finna get you so you you eating. You get you you're gonna indulge in some type of barbecue today. Some, something, motherfucker. <laughs> they ain't got no hot links. There's no hot links and no shit like that. Like I remember it was a restaurant that was around the corner from the crib. Yeah. They had like barbecue and I was like, yo, give me a hot link. Um and they, they put the hot link down. I was like, man, this this is Scott Peterson, fam. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> y'all idea of a hot link? No. Scott Peterson is fire though. Yeah, but it's not hot links. It's not hot links, now, though. I almost ordered Moon Oink online mm-hmm. and went to this place like, nigga, these are hot links. Throw these on. Throw these on. Do mm-hmm. you, but throw these on. Yeah. I, I got, feel you, man. I got beef. I got pork. I got turkey. <clears throat> throw these on. <laughs> they have it withdrawals right now, man. Withdrawals like a motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's bad out here, fam. Like, this is the fifth. No, 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 no. Last year I was home for the fourth, I think I was. Or two years ago. I think it was two years ago. Two years ago I was at home for the fourth. That's the last time. I, I like I know I said last, I think it was last pod, I think it's with five years. No. Well no, we didn't have hot links last year. That that mm-hmm. year though. Mm-hmm. Oh, we had rib tips. Yeah. But I haven't had a hot link since limbs. <laughs> a real hot link since limbs on seventy fifth. Fuck. Bang. I encourage you to do whatever it is you got to do today to indulge in some type of barbecue. Then indulge, motherfucker. (laughs) DoorDash. DoorPass. I have DoorPass. Yeah. So I get, like, free delivery. And then through my Cash App. Cash App? Look, I didn't realize, like, how much you could get off on shit with Cash App. Yeah. Yeah, like, if you order something from DoorDash, it's, like, 15% off. Mm. If, If you do it through. They have Boost. I've never tried to do DoorDash or like you know I've never had food delivered to me. I just don't yeah, trust I mean, that process. You live in Maywood, bro. fam. I don't trust that process, bro. The process is good, <laughs> but you live in Maywood. I don't think they. Yeah. I think some nigga be like, oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know if I should go over there. I, mean, I, I told you I live in a nice part of Maywood. No, my block is very nice. It's very quiet for okay. the most part. It's quaint, so you know, so you, have a, you know, you have a quaint block. Yeah, if people want to come on this block. Quaint. I think they should feel safe on this block. Niggas quaint. <laughs> you got a quaint yeah. block, quaint block. Um, but no, no, no. DoorDash is cool. DoorDash, grandpa. I do DoorDash okay. because they got the fifteen percent off on the um, um, if you use your Cash App. Mm-hmm. So I put the money in the Cash App and then just buy my shit. I'm gonna do that today. So that kind of like defeating the purpose of like the delivery fee and shit. You kind of like you kind of like xing out the delivery fee when you. Well, do I that, got right? DoorDash like. DoorDash Dash Plus because it's like nine ninety nine. Oh like, my god, nine ninety nine. So fancy. No, no, I'm not fancy. It just fancy. happened by accident because you know oh sometimes. No, 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 no. Hit me out. Hit me out. I be getting fucked up with the the um the free the free shit like they yeah. do it free for a month and you forget about the nine ninety nine. Yeah, you forget about the subscription. I forgot. <laughs> I had to left the shit on there. Left the shit on there. I was like, fuck. But then, but then I thought about it. But when I order from this shit, I get fifteen percent off. Yeah. If I use <clears throat> the cash app, it okay. pays for itself. Right. So I was about to say that it pays for itself. Yeah, so it pays you, for you know, itself. It, I'm like fuck it. It works out for you. I'm like fuck it. Just, just <laughs> keep the cash app. Use it. It's gonna pay for itself. I right, balance some shit out. It's not because I'm fancy. Mm. It's because I figured out, and I've had cash app for years. Now I figured out that they have boost. Like, let me go to Cash App. Let me, you know, so I can let Mike know. Mm-hmm. Cash App, Cash App, Cash App. Search that motherfucker. Bang bougie. Um, okay, fuck shit. All right, I'll be bougie. 
<laughs> so like so when you go to look card and shit they say no boost selected yeah so you can find the boost like taco bell 10 percent off each purchase domino's 10 percent walgreens mm-hmm. you get 10 percent off of an amazon order yeah Damn, that's lit. Okay. If you shop at the grocery store, you can get 10% off one purchase. If you purchase something from the PlayStation Network, 10% off each purchase, nigga. Xbox, mm-hmm. Nike. But well, some of that shit you just got to continue using or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, like, shit. I might want to go get some off of Amazon. Okay. 10% off that bitch. Yeah. Fuck you, me. <clears throat> Take advantage. Hey. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to do, Mike. I hear you, bang. Trying to take advantage of some shit, man. That's that's all. That's all. Um. <sighs> but yeah, enjoy the fourth, y'all. Do y'all thing. Do y'all thing on the fourth, and you know, uh-huh. be safe and all of that, and eat. That's what we do. My doing. motherfucker got to get shamed for celebrating. Cause, but what's going on right now, bang? I think that's just what doing it, that shit we trying to. That. We trying to exactly, but now you know, say everybody, everybody so. Everybody want to be self righteous now. Everybody want to. Are supposed to go to work today? Everybody, everybody trying to pinpoint. Everybody trying to pinpoint everybody out of the lineup. Who ain't who ain't pro black and who you know what I'm saying who's still down with the white man or all of this bullshit like that. Uh, who who really ain't down for the cause? Do I that's, suppose, Mike? Do I if, if I'm off? Do I supposed to say fuck this shit? That's what I'm saying, man. Nah, that's what it. I. That's that's where I'm. I'll put you. work. That's work. I'm, that's why I'm glad you shared that post. That's why I was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? This is perfect right now because I just want to make, let's make it clear out here, guys, that there's no need to do all of that. We, we out here. We kicking fuck a it. dick. I mean, we fuck, d- look, fuck a dick. Excuse for me. Pause. <laughs> the ladies, fuck a dick today. <laughs> Fellas, get you some pussy. Facts. If you enter some other shit, do that. Do I supposed to say, fuck all that shit. I'm off. I'm not going to, I ain't got to go to work. Okay. I don't want to get no pussy today. I want to go work. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Black people celebrate the fourth the same way you've been doing it. Yeah. <clears throat> to me, we not saying be like Dipset. Don't be Jewel said Jewel Santana. <laughs> don't come to the party dressed like a flag. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. <clears throat> don't play. What's the? Is that Miley Cyrus party in the USA? Oh yeah. We not saying come yeah. to the party. <laughs> blaring that. <laughs> Party in the USA. We not saying that shit. Damn, that song was kind of fire. Go ahead though. I don't know. <laughs> you know what, baby? Like that damn song in the movie, Pitch Perfect. That's the reason why I like that damn mm. song. But anyway, go ahead. That's another damn, story for not, another day. We not saying that. I mean, if you GD, today <laughs> is a day for you. <laughs> Folks can't celebrate today. Mm-hmm. Seven four today. <clears throat> Shout out to the Bloods and Crips. If y'all Bloods, you know what I'm saying? No, Where y'all no, ring? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's GD day today. Well, yeah. It's 7-4 okay. day today. There you go. So they not supposed to celebrate? Where you mm-hmm. blue and black? Mm. Mm-hmm. Shouts out to all my friends who folks. Mm-hmm. Today is for you. <clears throat> it's not the 4th of July. Rep y'all set. Rep y'all Rep color. Rep your shit. <laughs> Oh, them forks up high in the sky today. <laughs> if motherfuckers say, what are you celebrate? You out here celebrating the 4th of July? No, nigga. Nah. <clears throat> Stack the deck, all that shit. Today is your day. Mm-hmm. Hey, other than that, barbecue. Go to the park. Go to Miller Meadows. Mm-hmm. Go go to whatever park out south that looks good. That got grass. Yeah. Go to the beach if they allow. Y'all can, can y'all go to the beach? Mm, technically, it's still shut down, but oh. niggas gonna be niggas. Okay, niggas is out there still. You know they finding a way to sneak out there. Mostly at night though. I don't think motherfuckers sneaking out there during the day, but I've definitely seen some people out there okay. on the beach though. But Barbecue yeah, like, in your backyard, fam. Have fun, mm-hmm. nigga. Whatever, whatever firecrackers y'all got left, because it seemed like it's an endless supply. <laughs> Look, this is only the beginning of the fireworks that's about to be, uh, you know, used. This shit finna go on for the next couple weeks, cause y'all know y'all don't never 
Fire, I don't know why, but the fireworks never get used all up on the 4th. It's always leftover fireworks. And those will be getting popped the next few days within the week or whatever like that. So, do y'all thing. Like you said, endless fireworks. Seems like it's never going to end. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Do y'all think. Celebrate. Yes, sir. A off day today. God damn yeah. it. Do your thing. Do y'all thing, y'all. All right. I just... I mean, like I said, just don't just don't show up like um just just don't be Joel Santana. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. show up, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't be Apollo Creed. Mm. <laughs> Come with the satin flag shorts. hmm Just don't do that. Alright. Don't don't yeah. just do your thing. <laughs> Have fun, man. Um <laughs> What we got on the pod today, Bang? So real quick, man, I had seen yeah. the Black National Anthem lift every voice to sing last week. Oh, yeah, that was like right on target. But too. I was, was right wrong, on... it turns out. What you mean? Because I said that, oh, they ain't going to do that. They ain't going to do that in no like, NBA oh, yeah. or NFL game. It's got to be a, a solo sport. <laughs> you actually spoke it into existence. I spoke that motherfucker <laughs> into existence. I was wrong. The NFL came out and said, week one, we're playing the Black National Anthem. What the mm-hmm. fuck, Mike? That's stupid. You don't agree with the doing it? No, I don't agree with it. Look, man, look. I know how it sounds. Yeah. But no. Hell no. <clears throat> nah, 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 nah. I'll give you three uh, reasons, Mike. I'll give you uh, three reasons. Reason one, this symbolism shit, instead of giving out shit, gotta stop. Uh-huh. Oh, man, we made black people mad. And so we finna do mad. everything to try... To, you know, rectify the situation, yeah. you know, with the little. <laughs> you know what we can do? Play, lift every voice and sing. Nigga, do, do you know how, do you know how confusing a motherfucker going to be? Matt, look, it's going to be a white person in your locker room that mm-hmm. loves Donald Trump, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a white person in your locker room that don't like niggas. Mm-hmm. Just keep it a buck. They don't like niggas. <laughs> so when you play the black national anthem and you kneel, you mm-hmm. kneel, Jack. Mm-hmm. And what does that say? Mm-hmm. And then you like, these black people been kneeling for the flag, kneeling doing our oh, anthem. Oh, shit. So I can't <laughs> kneel doing this, motherfucker? Open up a whole can of worms. Yeah. That's one. Like NFL, y'all still got two. time to change this. Yeah. That's number two. Like the 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 conundrum that you gonna put white players in. Mm-hmm. Hey man. Fuck. Oh, do I gotta stay? Oh, my daddy ain't gonna like this shit. Do I kneel? Do I stand? Oh fuck. Mm-hmm. Oh. So that's so you gonna fuck up the chemistry of the game before the game even start. Mm-hmm. Cause the, you gonna have the black players looking. Yeah. Oh, that motherfucker. Oh, did that motherfucker kind of kneel? Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck that shit. Hey, 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 hey. When when Jadavian Clowney come past, do not block mm-hmm. for him. <laughs> he gonna feel it today. Yeah. We'll tell you when to let him. We'll tell you when to block him. <laughs> hey. And then three. And more importantly, don't play none of them shits. None. Mm-hmm. Don't play none of them shits. At all. Don't play the national anthem. Don't play the black national anthem. Play the motherfucker in the middle. Mm-hmm. Play back of the beautiful. Mm-hmm. Play, play the motherfucker. This one right here is when I'm like, all right, just stay y'all motherfucking ass in the middle here. Mm-hmm. Play back of the beautiful. Cause even niggas gonna be like, damn, should I stand up for this shit? This shit kind of cold though. <laughs> shit kind of got a bop to it. Yeah. All right, bet. America. You're not gonna have too many people feel a certain way about America Beautiful. White yeah. black, white people or black people, they're not yeah. gonna feel this. You know, just like you said, play, play that middle. bitch. Military fly pass. Bye. Mm-hmm. Play ball. No, nah, y'all motherfuckers want to get real off. Oh. Let's let's play lift every voice and sing. Uh-huh. Ain't no nigga, barely a nigga 
in the stadium gonna know the words. Mm-hmm. Barely a nigga gonna know the words. That shit. Mm-hmm. Oh shit, they playing this shit. Oh, I, like I said, <laughs> they gonna all fuck up at the part where everybody fuck up. Yeah, sing a song for mm-hmm. and then a the white person gonna be like, you don't even know your own goddamn anthem. You don't even know your goddamn anthem. And we white, fight before the game. Before the game. And white people just listen to But white people listen to Lift Every Voice and Sing, the Black National Anthem. It is as neutral as possible as well. Mm-hmm. Lift Every Voice and Sing till Earth and Heaven Ring. So mm-hmm. lift everybody voice. Yep. Ring with the harmonies of liberty. All right? Yep. Let's be together and fight for liberty, motherfucker. Yep. We're fighting for the same <clears throat> shit you fighting for. Liberty. Justice. Mm-hmm. You know? Facing the rising sun of our new day begun, let us march on till, I mean, let us resound loud as the rolling sea. Nigga, y'all love to see, to shine and see. Mm-hmm. I sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. We know the past has been dark, motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. It's dark. It's a lot of shit. Slavery, the Klan, mm-hmm. all that shit's dark. So sing a song, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. How come we can't? Y'all want to look at that shit? <laughs> Fuck. Like sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. It's hope <clears throat> now. Yeah. Facing the rising sun of our new day begun. It's new day. Let <clears throat> us together. Mm-hmm. March on until victory is won. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, that's neutral as fuck. We ain't say nothing about black people. We ain't say shit about we're going to fuck you up. None of that shit. Mm-hmm. I saw one video of this white dude. He was mad. Oh, that's the epitome of racism. <laughs> like, the nigga that you listen to the song, he act like that shit came out yesterday. Yeah, this shit's been out since the 1900s. I, I swear, I cringe, bro, when I when I scroll through the comments of, of these posts. Bro, I just like, oh man, it's so many racist people or people that think shit is racist or whatever. Like, man, it's it's cringing, bro. What the fuck's I'm scrolling through comments. Bro. Yeah, I'm like, I'm just sitting there. I'm like, man. But but yeah, NFL. I don't think we need the gesture, no. that gesture, <laughs> you know. To try to rectify whatever it is that everything that's going on right now, we don't need the Black National Anthem to uh to be played. Especially if y'all want to do it on either in week one. I mean, this, this, this makes no sense. Yeah, but week two and week three. Week two is dead. You know what I'm and then like they said, yeah, the Black National Anthem, the every voice is seen, will be a part of pregame rituals throughout the NFL season. In all sports, you know, whatever like that. It was just, uh, we week one, we'll give y'all that, you know. Right. Kind of almost like a slap in the face, almost. The gesture is a, a nice, polite gesture, but a backhand. Like, just right, we, just leave it. Just leave it, y'all. We give y'all that shit, fam. <laughs> but next week, though? Next week, we back to business. Back to business, fam. Shit. Hey, before we get too deep into the pot, man, I'm watching. Have you seen Dr. Sleep? Dr. Sleep? No, I haven't seen that. What is this? Uh, um, it's basically like the sequel of The Shining. Mm-mm, no, I haven't seen that. Nigga, this shit's wild. Mm-mm. Like, wild as fuck, G. This is something new? It came out last year. Okay. This shit wild than a month. Wait a minute, she ain't there, that motherfucker? Damn. Like, it, damn. Like, this shit's wild, fam. Like, you gotta watch it. Like, it's been a while since I watched the movie. And be like, ooh. Yeah. Was no, scared, I haven't. Like, seen. even like a, a suspenseful horror flick. Okay, some Stephen King shit? Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Okay. It's been a while since I seen that shit and was like, ooh. Mm-mm. Ooh. It's weird ass shit, yeah. I don't like, know, bro. I ain't into movies like that, though. I be... What? I you, you a bitch? Nah, bro. Not like that. I like classic. I like I like simple uh horror-type movies. I don't like the extra shit. This ain't extra. It. It's suspenseful as fuck. Okay. So it's suspenseful, but it ain't like... Unnecessary, uh, gruesome. No, nah, oh yeah, no, nah, it ain't that shit. I don't that's like that what shit. I. That's what I don't like when it comes to like these horror movies and shit like that. Like the unnecessary gruesomeness and yeah, shit nah, like that. Like, like I'm all about hostile, suspensefulness. Hostile yeah, shit, nah, yeah, I ain't cool. I ain't, I ain't down with all of that shit, y'all. Like, you know, yeah, nah, you gonna call me a bitch because of that? Yeah, that's no, no, no. I'm, yeah, I'm a bitch too. <laughs> now, I don't like hostile. Yeah, and shit like that. Like that's that's the shit that made me. What the fuck? What the? 
Yeah. Y'all doing too much here. Like cutting mm-hmm. niggas, tying niggas in chairs and cutting <clears throat> shit and all that shit. Nah, give me this give me the suspense the suspenseful shit. Now if a motherfucker mm-hmm. be like you like Nightmare on Elm Street and and and, 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 and Jason and all them shit's like, yeah. But Freddy's not doing no extra shit. No. Nah. <clears throat> not at all. Nope. Yeah, Freddy, Freddy and Jason. Yeah, Freddy and Jason is classic horror cinema. Yeah, he gonna he gonna talk that, that shit till you make some jokes, kill you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But there you go. Hey, but that's a nice segue though. Freddy and Jason. Yes, it is. We did get a Freddy versus Jason battle this week. Yes, we did. You know, and we talking about the versus battle between uh, Jada Kiss and uh, Fabulous went down on versus this past Monday. Bang! What happened? Like I, what I told y'all motherfuckers was going to happen. <laughs> what did we say was going to happen on the no! pod? No! My nigga shot himself. Um, It's what I said what was going to happen, G. That nigga got too much in the tuck. Man. Jadakiss got too much in the tuck. A five-year head start, my G. Man. Not only does he have a five-year head start, those years, oh, damn, they got my girl. Those five years <laughs> was spent with Biggie. Mm-hmm. What the fuck did y'all think was going to happen? Like I told DG, like I said, we call them niggas out. Like mm-hmm. I told DG, DG hitting me with the, oh, he going to play trade at all. Like, nigga. And you know what happened when he played trade at all? It was over after that. It was over for Fab. Play Holla back, youngin. <laughs> Fab was a dead man after he played trade at all. I don't think. Nah, you know what? To keep it a buck, I really don't think that he was prepared for the moment. He wasn't. I... He Fabulous wasn't prepared for the moment, and Jadakiss was not gonna get. And Jadakiss, Jadakiss is. This is like a, it's like a fight. It's like a heavyweight fight. But Jada actually knew what his opponent was going to bring. But he was ready for, he countered everything. Like, and he countered it in his way. He didn't, he didn't fall for the bait at no, all. No, no. He didn't fall for the bait one time. Like, people think like, oh, yeah, if Fab plays some slow shit, Jada going, going you know what I'm saying? Go to some slow shit too, or go to some softer shit. Jada was like, "Nah, he knew it." Every time Fab played a slow record or played one of the lady records, Jada said, "Nah, he trying to flip it. We sticking to the script." You know what I'm saying? And boom, he just hit this nigga in the hit this nigga in the head with a, a street anthem. I'm a, <laughs> Every he, he rip, saying, I'm a controlling narrative. Look, I'm controlling the narrative. Look, you could go to <clears throat> Billboard. We know who got the bigger songs, but one of the things that I had talked about last week. Is that Jadakiss is his catalog is full of classics. Now you motherfuckers might be like, but what about the solo songs? But this is not what verses is about. It's mm-hmm. about the songs. Period. <clears throat> so that's one. Two, this is like spades, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. This ain't pick a song, any song type shit. No, this is spades. This what this is. So you have to have your shit ready. You just can't be like, yo, let's dump 30 songs in Serato Uh and call it a night. No, you have to really be on it. Now, some people are just, it's not going to think about it in the competition way. Let's keep it a buck. There's some people that are not going to, not going to think competition here. Mm-hmm. They're gonna be like, all right, cool, you know what I'm saying? Let's get these joints off. Because for some artists, you know, this is a way to get your streams up. Yeah. You know. But for other niggas like Jadakiss, nah, fam, I'm here to win. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna go through the songs. Cause <clears throat> I, I didn't want to say what I had it at officially. I don't even know. I didn't you know what I was I didn't even keep the score, actually. I was kind of keeping score, but then after a little bit, after throughout the battle, I didn't even keep score no more. All right, well, <laughs> let's go through the songs, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Shouts out to everybody in the Some Dude Pod group. 
Marcus <clears throat> Jordan. Shouts out to my man Marcus. Shouts out to Swag. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to DG. Um, who else? Who else was on Fab Nuts that day? <laughs> who else, Mike? Uh, I don't know. I got. I got to go back. And, I have to go back. Yo, and I, look. Yo, go I, back. I, I have to well, go back and look. Oh yeah, we gonna go back. But I know DG was Why? was was Fab <laughs> fan number one. I talked to Camp from the port. Camp from the port was like, "Oh man, fabulous!" Going, I was, I told him. I said, "Hey, I don't know if this motherfucker's ready." And Jada Kiss is the nigga got classic songs. This ain't that for that. Yeah, I got where he was coming from, but there were other niggas who was just out of their body with shit. <clears throat> if if that if did if Camp from the port. Was DJ Booth that night? Fab <laughs> has a better chance. At Fab winning. has a better chance. Like if, he did. If it was me, if it was you, Fab has a better chance at winning. Booth just was like, "Oh, let's just play this." My man Fab was over there trying to call the audible too. Like yeah. you're in the middle of the battle. Yeah, like, nah, 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 let's nah, do this then. No, no, we gonna play this, man. Like, Neither one of them niggas was on the same page at all. They, so, they, they, we're gonna go to round one because I missed the first couple of songs. But but let's go here. We're gonna start off with round one. It was DM, I, a song that I said that probably get played. DMX featuring the Locks and Jay-Z Blackout versus Lil Wayne featuring Fabulous Joel Santana, You Ain't Got Nothing. Of now, let's, now, let's be clear, ladies and gentlemen. These were two. First of all, they, they went right into the feature bag, which is perfectly fine. And it kind of looked like they were setting it up the way that me and Bane kind of like predicted that they were set up. Like, all right, yo, you play a feature. I'm going to play a feature. Mm-hmm. And we may do like the first five songs as features. Now, <clears throat> Blackout, DMX, Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood. Um, yeah, this was this was just one of those records, god damn it, that, <laughs> that Jada's on that could be arguably one of the coldest posse cuts of all time. <laughs> what is Fab going to do here? Yeah, gonna... He can't do anything. But nonetheless, You Ain't Got Nothing On Me is a fire posse cut, though. It's a good I, counter. I'm going, with, I'm going with Jada for round I'm one. I'm going with Jada round all one, right. too. But... That was a good round, though, from both of them, though. Good round from both of them. The Locks recognized versus Cassidy, Lil Wayne, and Fab six minutes. <clears throat> now, Bang, you scored this 2-0 for Jada. I gave this round to Fab. So, so here's, so, I am low-key, I'm not the biggest recognized fan. I didn't know recognize was played. Mm-hmm. Y'all didn't give me the full, like, the straight-up list. So, if <clears throat> I, if, if I would have known that, I would have gave, Fab round two. <coughs> so I am going to get Fab round two here. It's one one here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Six minutes. I like six minutes better than I'm not the biggest recognized fan. I'm not. So okay. so it's it's a tie right now, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Um so go to round three. Made you look remixed versus um start it up. Oh, yes, of course. I'm going we to already we knew this one. We already went with uh we knew what was gonna happen on this one. Now again, made you look. Jada, Jada fucking murked this shit, goddamn it. Oh. Copped your shit, now I break weed up on it. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, start it up, start it up. But again, another fire posse cut. But it's just not enough. Vroom, vroom. It's just not enough vroom, right vroom. there. Start it up. Vroom, it's just not enough vroom, here. Fab smoked that beat and that thing. Yeah. That, Fab smoked that song. So, but it's just... And, 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 I, and I have a take at the end of this, so... Can't wait for this take, but go ahead. But we both got it two one, right? Or you? Yeah, got we it? got it two one. Yeah, I gave that one to Jada. I gave that one to Jada. Oh yeah, okay. So two one Jada. Um, so we go to round four. Um, trade it all part two. But but Jada went first though. Jada went first. By your side, I'm just Jada played that. by your side, and by <laughs> your side wins. Jada played trade it all. Yeah, this was kind of that was why I was like, oh no, Fab didn't stick to the script like. He tried to. This was uh, this was a point of the battle where Fab tried to change the narrative of what was going on. It didn't work. It didn't work. So we got work. a three-one Jada kiss right now. <clears throat> Round five, we got all for the love versus Fabulous. Uh, I'm gonna do it. Come on, man. First locks album. First locks album. First, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. A B side record off uh, Fab's. Um, matter of fact, what's this a B side record? It's a B side record to me. <clears throat> off Loso's way. A fire song though. This song fire. It's fire. It go hard. But classic Jada. Classic locks. My fa- my cl- classic locks. Classic bad boy right here. Just yeah. Next, where we at? What's the score? <clears throat> four one. Yeah, four one. Four one. Next. Okay, go ahead. All right, go ahead. What we got? DJ Clue freestyle chest to chest versus uh, Q 
keeping it gangster. I gave Fab this one. Even that clue freestyle was hard, but I'm giving keeping it gangster. I'm giving. I'm getting okay. scoring that one for Fab. Okay, let's go down with a fab. So where we at four two? What, what you got it? I got it. I got it. I got it four two. Okay, I got it four right, so, two. So we agree uh, so far. Nah, nah, nah. You know what? Nah, nah, nah. I got it five one. Mm. Yeah, I got it five one. <laughs> mm. That's tough. Keeping it gangster is that's a street anthem, fam. That's a New York street anthem right there, bro. Five one. Okay, that's cool. We, we did, uh, agree to disagree on that one. I got it four two. I got it four two Jada. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Um, round six. This way, round seven. Jada excuse going, me. This way, Jada going to run. Oh, oh, he's on the run to me right now. So. Nah, this way, Jada. This way, Jada. This is where it went. This is where it went left. It went all the way left here, and I, and this was the shocker of the battle to me. This one right here, I forgot all about this. Jada played World War Three off Rough Riders Volume Two. B. I dead ass forgot about this. Song, bro. Well, I mentioned this on the. Did you? Did you mention this? Did you mention this song in the group? I was like, "Gee, y'all niggas ain't we." We mm. we said all these songs and then you say war. Oh, I didn't see. Three. I didn't see you. I didn't see you mention this in the group though. I yeah. didn't see that, and, nigga. This one threw me all the way off, and I was like, and the nostalgia started flowing through my bones when this shit played, nigga. Like. I'm dead ass. Like I, I turned into a kid when this shit came on, nigga. Cause this shit right here, psh, that's one of the coldest intros of a compilation Tug album boots. ever. Like, dude. Take boats, man. What was? It don't even matter what Fab played at this point. <laughs> it don't even matter, Tug though. Boats. Snoop come in, state your name, gangsta. Snoop Dogg. He got Scarface. Goddamn it. <laughs> shit. J- Jada Tug finishes boats. it at the end. Come on, bro. Yeah. Tugboats. <clears throat> this was just this was just at the point where Jada was like, Jada has this is where Jada has the um Tugboats. The advantage when it comes to like touching everything in the industry, bro. Being on everything in the industry. Tug Being boats. a part of shit. <laughs> Two motherfuckers said I lost my shit on this one, bro. Tugboats. I like automatic. Automatic. So right now <laughs> I have six one. And Fab play Gangsta Don't Play off uh this is a, another B side. Fab was coming with the B sides. Gangsta Don't Play off um nothing uh from nothing to something. This was a fire record. But it's just Tug not boats. a good the counter just ain't good enough. It ain't strong enough. Tuck boats. <laughs> you know that's winning. So it's I got winning. it I have it six one. I got it five two. Yeah. So Band from T V part one <sighs> versus Fab, Jay, and Uncle Murder, Brooklyn. Another B-side, but a, a anthem for New York. But Band from TV is arguably another great GOAT posse cut. Yo, how many posse cuts is Jada a part of? Like, GOAT All status over. posse cuts. That's crazy. <laughs> Told y'all, niggas. Um, this one was close. Closer than I would admit. But I gave it to Ben from the Ben from TV because every like I gave it to Ben from TV. It I'm giving it to Ben from TV. I don't, this one was tough. This was probably one of the tougher ones to me. Okay. But yeah, I'm not, and I'm not giving out ties. Yeah, we don't do that. Yeah, I'm, we're not doing that. So I gave this one right here to Jadakus. Me too. Um. <clears throat> so right now I have a seven one. Um. Mike has it six two. Um, <clears throat> round 10, well, round 9, the Locks two, Blood Pressure. Round yeah, yeah, round 9, Locks Blood Pressure versus Fabulous Young OG. Blood Pressure, which is technically a Jada solo record, so. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I gave this to Fab. Oh, guess who? Wait, Blood Pressure versus which song? Young OG. Wait, which record are you talk? Let me see this. What what uh, song did Fab play? Young OG? What? Yeah. No, I don't, I don't yeah. see that. What are you talking about? You play Young OG. What song is that, bang? Cause, what song is Young OG? Wait a minute, did he? Nah. Hold on, I gotta look at the. Li- Wait, what list are you looking at? Hold on. <clears throat> cause I wrote some of these down. Hold on, cause I'm looking at a different. Cause he played, the, he played, the, he played that one. Hold on, let me see. 
Let me see. Let me see if I can find a, a official score sheet. But I don't have it. I don't have that song. I'm not trying to figure out what song that is. Hold on. Um, uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Where we at? Where we at? Round. What round we in? We're round nine. Round nine. He played Blood Pressure. Oh, Young OG. What song is this? What song is Young OG? What is that? Okay, they don't have this on title. I just played the whole title. Nah, you know what? Blood Did you pressure. just play this on Blood Pressure. That yeah, blood, blood Pressure, pressure. wins that easily. Yeah. That's still nothing the last thing you No, no, You know what? Low key, I, I guess I'm not the big. I'm not really the biggest Blood Pressure song fan either. Jada killed that. I don't like the beat. I'm uh. not a big fan of the beat. Wasn't that DJ Premier? Nah. Mm. But I'm not the biggest fan. But yeah, I, I'm going to give it to Kiss. I mean, yeah, I'm going to get that to Kiss. Kiss got that one for me. I, uh -huh. Yeah. Because that's the no chick get super head. I get super head. Like the lyrics. Oh, yeah. But I just wasn't a big fan of the beat. Oh, I'm sorry. That, no, that's Swiss. That's Swiss. <clears throat> nah, Jada was, Jada was smoking that. But yeah, okay. Here we go. Yeah, round we 10. It. Let's so we go we get it. Kiss. Can I live versus OG? Look. Well, can I live play classic back? And I, right that's there. another song that I mentioned. <clears throat> I don't think I mentioned in the group. I mentioned it to somebody else. Mm -hmm. But that is one of my favorite Lox songs. <clears throat> and we had a, and I guess Jada had a a, a, a debate on <laughs> on the actual on the uh, verses and about I who song it was. I'm telling you, I knew he gave that song. They gave that song to Black Rod. Mm -hmm. I knew they gave that song to Black Rod. When I heard, when I, I remember when I first heard it, I was like, I don't think this was a Black Rob song, mm -hmm. because by then the locks was off, Bad Boy, mm -hmm. and if you listen to the lyrics, I'm like, they're praising Puff. <clears throat> yeah. Listen mm -hmm. to a wise young man that quickly became a rich one, and they weren't in the best of terms at that time. Mm -hmm. So I was like, nah, that song they gave this to they gave this to Rob. Mm -hmm. they, and, and he said that that was originally a lock song that was supposed to be on Money, Power, Respect. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And I was like, shit, y'all. Mm -hmm. I knew it. And that mm -hmm. song was automatically going to win because that's one of my favorite lock songs. Yep. Um, and that went up against, and that went up against, went it against, don't even uh, matter. Yeah, it don't even matter. <laughs> so right now I have it nine to one. Um, Fab, Ball Drop, uh, Puff, Buster Rhymes and Notorious Big Victory, which was probably the most shocking that was played based off <clears> the <throat> fact that we all thought Big wrote Victory's verse for Puff. For Puff. And Jadakiss was like, nah, that was me. Mm. I said, I did say, we ain't even mentioned the ghostwriting tracks. I did not think this was going to be one of them. I didn't give this to Jada, though. I didn't give this to him, though. The fuck, why not? Because <laughs> it ain't his song. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm on a technicality right here. I'm on a technicality. He wrote the bitch. <clears throat> Niggas didn't wrote. <laughs> Nick, get the fuck out of here, Mike. Not because, the song, not because the song ain't great and the verse wasn't fire. He wrote the bitch. I, that's cool, bro. That's he cool. That's him. <laughs> But the sun, nah. the sun don't shine forever. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with all of that. Here might as well shine together. Listening to it, listening to it, it actually kind of make more sense. Now it does. Yes, <laughs> it definitely make more sense that yes. Jada pinned that. Yes, but hey, none of the rappers that've done the verses have played songs that they wrote. They're not. <laughs> they're not. I mean, Jada get points for he get a, he he, nah, he, he gets a he gets okay. a salute for throwing it okay. in there. But you I ain't giving that one him. I ain't giving that one to him. Uh, okay, that, bro. That's cool though. It's he's still up one. by he's still up by a far a nice margin. It's though, ten so. one. <laughs> you got it. Ten what? What I got? You Seven, got it. Eight three. Eight. Uh, ten. Okay, yeah. Eight three. Cool. I we go to round twelve. Um, uh, Meek Mill, Fab, Uptown Vibes, um, mm, mm, mm. uh, Mighty D Block. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> And this is where Fab Fab had the chance to like he Fab can control the narrative here because this at this point he's going first. So this is the song he threw out. I right, Meek Mill record. This it's cool. It's a cool song, but no. 
Mighty Mighty D Block, bro. When that song came out, I remember when that song came out. That was a song one of my homies used to burn CDs. So I was like, yo, put this song on my on my burn CD, bro. And this was when J Hood was like one of the hottest rappers, like up and coming rappers out at the time, bro. Like, come on, bro. Mighty Mighty D Block. That's an easy one. Did he? Yeah. Next. Next. I think we kind of caught this one. <clears throat> I think yeah. we caught this one. Mm -hmm. Because I said fuck you was automatic. And you was like, no, it ain't. <clears throat> and Kate denied it. I think it was somebody. You put it against Kate denied it. I think it was somebody said this. Like, if you put this against Kate denied, I was like, it's an automatic win. And we might have said this on the pod. I think we might have said that on the pod. Well, ladies and gentlemen. It was an automatic for me. <laughs> fuck you, the feats came tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna fuck what nobody says. This yeah. is not even a me being a fan of Jada Kiss and shit. I'm a fan of this song. Mm -hmm. I think to me, okay, I know that no Meek Mill has the best number one track in rap history to me. <clears throat> like the best first track of an album is that song then. Mm -hmm. But to me, to me, the I don't count the the news shit intro here. Mm -hmm. If they don't have that, the locks puts "fuck you" is number one. Ladies and gentlemen, that would be the only song that can go up against Meek Mill's um, intro, as far mm -hmm. as like a intro. Mm -hmm. But it's number two mm -hmm. on "We Are the Streets." So hmm. it really don't count. Hmm. Fuck you is that amazing to me. The okay. beat, how how the fucking beat comes in. <laughs> the horns. If yeah. you hope we didn't make it, fuck you. Uh -huh. Perfect. Because them niggas, you niggas gotta realize that they did the we are the street shit. Uh -huh. They leave bad boy. They go to Rough Riders. And niggas thought they wasn't going to be shit afterwards. <clears throat> and they pretty much told y'all, if you hope we didn't make it, fuck you. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing song. It's a statement. It's and a then statement. Sheik, y'all niggas ain't hardcore. What you know about homicide? What you know about getting shot, letting it drip dry? Nigga, what? <laughs> Round 13 goes to the locks for me. Now you see, I didn't mention Jada because his verse, mm -hmm. cause that that verse was great. The snake shit was great, but Sheik, that's 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 the verse where Sheik was like, "I'm tired of y'all niggas not mentioning me." Mm -hmm. That's the verse where he was, "No, you niggas, niggas gonna talk about me with the locks." So yeah, mm -hmm. but I know you gave this to Fab. <laughs> How you know? Cause it's How can't you know? deny it, and y'all motherfuckers love can't deny it. What's wrong with K Deny it? Ain't nothing wrong with K Deny it. That was his that was his God. that was his record though. That was his record. Yeah. That was a that was a fire ass single from Fab, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Fire. It was Go ahead, bro. it lost. Okay. 12 one. <laughs> 12 one. <laughs> 12 one. <laughs> 12 one right now, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Um What I got it? 8-4? 8-4. No, that's round 13. That's round four. Oh, okay. So, so you, got, you got um Nine four. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. I got it. Nine four. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, um, um. Round fourteen. Fabulous. The dream. Throw it in the bag versus knock yourself out. He played the remix. The remix. I hate that shit. Yeah. I hate it so much. I love the original version. <laughs> I love the original version. If he would have played the original version, this if, still would have would have lost. No, nah, you but, know what? I think if he would have mm. played the original one, I I probably would have gave this to Fat. I guess knock yourself out. Yeah, but the remix, mm. but the remix, da, 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 da. remix is horrible. Yeah, it's a remix. It's I don't like the remix. So I have it thirteen one. All right, it went from I got it. I got it thirteen one. I got it ten. Yeah, ten, ten four. four. Ten four. Round fifteen. <clears throat> Holla back, youngin. Ah, there's his ghost face. Jada, run! I I gave this one a fab. Whoa! <laughs> what? I think that's a better song than the Ghost Face record. I think it's a better song. Nonetheless, this is what the Fire Jada feature. I think this Youngin is a better song though. 
fourteen one ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Uh, As 10-5. you hear from me, this battle is over. It's 10 5. It's still over, but. Which is here. 10 5. Round 16. This might have been the last. That might have been the last round, Fab One, for me. For me. You be killing them versus all about the Benjamins. We ain't got it. Jaden That ain't, ain't going to do it, Jake. That ain't going to do it. 15 1, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. All right, for me. Um, round 17. Make oh, me, make go me ahead. better versus back to life. Jada Kiss went loses here. Jada Kiss loses here. Fab wins around, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so what you got it? All right, so it's you, you it's, got it. What? It's fifteen two. Fifteen to two. I got it. Um, what is that? Eleven you got, six. You got it. Eleven six. Eleven six. No, no, no. You got it. No. Yeah, no. eleven six. Fifteen two. That's seventeen songs, right? No, 17. you got eleven eleven five. 11, whatever. No, I gave, no, 11, 11 oh, yeah, 6. You, yeah, you, yeah, 11, 6. Yeah, 11, 6. My bad. <clears throat> we had 17. Um, We had 17. No, we. I said that was 17 that I said. Yeah. Uh, so we had 18, actually. Um, mm-hmm. Can't let you go versus ride or die, bitch. I gave this to Fab. I did, too. Ah, look at us. <laughs> look at us. Oh, look shit. At us. Look at us. We're here. Fab. Right. <laughs> 15, 11, 3. 11, 7. Round 19, so into you versus Diamond in the Rough. Look at me. Fab wins Fab again. Wins. <laughs> oh, look at us. Look at us. We're here. 15 4. 15 mm-hmm. 4 here. 11 8. R- round 20. Bree <clears throat> versus We Gonna Make It. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's it. Jada Kids wins. Jada wins. 16, I think Jada four, wins. Ladies and gentlemen. You have it 16 4. Uh, 16 4. I scored it uh, 12 8. 12 8. 16 I had it a little closer, but it was still <clears throat> it was still a very dominant performance from Jada, though. 16 4. 16 4. Yeah, you're right. It was a very dominant performance by Jada. It was a very dominant performance. Even though Fab like won a few rounds for he won a few more rounds to me than than for you, but it was still like Watching Jada like do that shit, Joe, it was like it just brought it all back like for me. I was like, man, yeah, it was very, very, very dominant by Jada, which brought me to the conclusion where I was like, man, I have to to give this man some flowers, bro, because I was like, it was it, in the moment. I was I was in the moment where I was like, man, Joe, I I think I really underappreciated Jada. You talk that shit. I really underappreciated Jada. So this is a segment of this podcast. This is going to be the second time I've done this on the pod where I've actually give flowers to uh-huh. an artist. I gave uh, this first set of flowers to Nicki Minaj. This is just pretty much me just uh, showing an appreciation for an artist while they're still here. And, you know, just, you know, giving y'all a pretty like a kind of like an oral history and, a, uh-huh. you know, just an appreciation of this artist's greatness. And the reason why I'm doing this and I'm, I'm doing this based off the fact that that's the reason why I love verses. I, I, one of the reasons why I love verses is due to the fact that it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Witnessing your favorite artists perform. And during this versus Fab and Jada kind of like brought the performance essence to it. You know, not even though it wasn't like full songs or whatever like that, but we're in a time where we can't go to concerts, man. You love concerts. Uh, not really. I love concerts. I love going to concerts. I love when you work them enough. (laughs) (laughs) See, that's the problem because you work too many concerts. You don't actually get to sit and enjoy the show. See, as a fan, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a thing about hip hop where you get out there and you're able to watch your favorite artists perform the songs that you grew up loving. And that's me. I love concerts, but due to this, you know what I'm saying? This pandemic or whatever like that, we're not able to, to watch these guys perform live or uh, anything like that. So this is kind of like a, it's like a, you know, a second thing to it versus. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. We get to watch artists perform on IG live. It ain't the same. It ain't the same feeling, but you know, it's somewhat of the feeling. You get somewhat of the feeling, but you know, I've seen Fab perform twice. I've never seen Jada perform. Before. I've seen Pat, Fab perform. He performed that. He performed <clears throat> at an event that I worked. Okay. Okay. So. I've never seen, never seen Jada perform though. And after watching this versus battle, you know what I'm saying, between Fab and Jada, it was it was like I, when Jada was playing certain songs and he was up there performing, it was like me watching him perform this shit for the first time. That's why I was I was feeling that nostalgia. 
I know Bang like to say, you know what I'm saying, get off nostalgia, dick. But at this point, you know what I'm saying, nostalgia was flowing through me. And I was loving every second of it. You know what I'm saying? Every second. Anytime Jada played one of those classic Bad Boy records, or he played one of them classic Locks records, or one of them classic Rough Rider records, I was like, man. That's how I felt. I, I feel a certain way. It, you know what I'm saying? It brought me back to when I was like 15, 14 years old, back when Jada was doing his thing with Rough Riders and everything like that. But, <clears throat> but yeah. And Jada completely overpowered Fab. And, and I realized and I had developed a newfound love and respect for, you know what I'm saying, Jada. Which, nonetheless, let me just be clear too. I've always thought Jada Kiss was the, the best you know, artists out of the locks. I always thought, like, overall, when it came to, like, the overall package, I felt like Jada was was the guy. Jada Kiss was always my favorite. I've always, I've never had an issue with Jada. <clears throat> I just never kind of, like, fell into the narrative of him being top five, dead or alive, which, you know what I'm saying, obviously was a self-proclamation for him, you know. But a lot of people ran with that shit, though. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna get into all of that later. <laughs> a lot of people ran with it. A lot of people a lot of people ran with that. <laughs> but nonetheless, though, I've always been a fan of Jada. Shout out to Jada. You know what I'm saying? Jada Kiss, aka Jason Phillips, you know what I'm saying, out of Yonkers. Shout out to him. You know, um part of the legendary trio, the locks, you know, um, we all know. We all pretty much know everything that, you know what I'm saying, Jada has done within his rap career. But if y'all don't know, just sit back and sit tight, okay? Jada Kiss has been in the game since, what, 95? Jada who? 90, Jada Kiss. Okay. <clears throat> what did I say? Did I say something? You did said say? Jada Pinkett. Did I say Jada it Pinkett? It like you said Jada Pinkett. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> but like Jada has been in the game, you know what I'm saying, with the locks. Jumped in the game with the locks um, back in, like, 95, 96. Got the demo passed on to Puff. For Mary, Mary kind of like set the tone for these guys. Shout out to Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Blige is Yonkers the fam. That's <laughs> Mary J. Blige handed the demo over to Puff. You know what I'm saying with the locks and everything like that. And um, these guys accomplished so much even before the locks put out their first album. Mm -hmm. All about the Benjamins. Life after death, the last day, which you know what I'm saying, Jada got a verse on there and he's on the hook. You know what I'm saying? We got, you know, being featured on Mace's album, 24 Hours to Live. On uh we got Jada, we got Jada Kiss, I mean uh Jada Sheik and uh Styles P being featured on Reservoir Dogs mm -hmm. on Hard Knock Life Volume 2, uh being featured on Mariah Carey's album. This is all before even putting out a solo album. I mean putting out a uh, I mean a group album. Before even putting out their group album, Money Pound Respect. You know, solid group debut <laughs> you know what i'm saying got records yes, on yeah, there yeah no it's a yes or no hit or miss i it, think that first album was solid it was it was it was i think the locks first album was solid i mean knowing what we knew at the locks and what we was hearing it was definitely a departure from what we thought what we were we thought we were going <clears throat> to get mm -hmm. that's what i would say um it did have some it did have some uh some joints on there you know i want to thank you Mm -hmm. Money, Power, Respect is probably mm -hmm. the two songs that I really listened to mm -hmm. uh, the most on there. But it was a miss to me. Okay. I was really disappointed at the first album. I thought we were going to get a bit more hardcore on that. I'm not saying they wasn't rapping. I'm saying I didn't like the production. La, I'm glad you said that. So, Let me continue. So yeah. <laughs> Let me continue. Uh, after, you know, say the, I mean, which was kind of a success. Nonetheless... If it was a, a hit or miss on, uh-oh, I think we lost Bang. But Bang told me if I lose him, I just keep talking. Yeah, All right, yeah, cool. I'm, I'm here. <laughs> I'm eating but yeah, too, so. Nonetheless, that if the album was a hit or miss, commercially it was a success for them, so it actually put them on the map. So we actually know who the locks is at this point. Um, But anyway, them being unhappy, you know, with their situation at Bad Boy, um, we know the locks to be more of a you know, street, grimier, you know what I'm saying, a hardcore type of group, <clears throat> they wasn't with all the shiny suit shit. They wasn't with all the bling bling shit. They wasn't with all the glossiness shit. They wasn't with all the, you know what I'm saying, the, you know, trying to fit the mainstream persona that bad boy was trying to, you know what I'm saying, put them under. We, 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 we wanted to see, you know what I'm saying, them being more hardcore. Let so, the locks go. Let the locks go. There was a campaign going on at this time. Let the locks go. Free the locks. And 
<laughs> it happened. And then they end up signing with Rough Riders. Um, and I think at the time, I think they were still they were being managed by Rough Riders, I believe. But um, yeah, <clears throat> yes, but they, they end were. up si- they were being managed by Rough Riders, and they end up signing with Rough Riders, and they get on, <laughs> you know, classic first compilation, Rough Riders Volume One. I feel like that's a classic compilation. Um, <clears throat> Rough Riders Volume Two, and then we get We Are the Streets. <laughs> And then in the midst of all of this, they beef it with, uh, you know, one of Bang's favorite rappers, uh, Beanie Siegel. <laughs> you know Beanie won that battle, don't give fuck nobody. Song. Did he win that battle? Yes, did. did he? Yes, did. <laughs> hey, Jada smoked him on a disco beat. Mm-mm. But, you know, that's a conversation for Beans, another. Beans won that beat. It was a close <laughs> battle, but Beans won that beat. You think he won? You, I, like, are this an honest, that's an honest, like, legitimate. I'm a fan of both. Okay. I'm a fan of both. So, yes. <clears throat> Beans is his favorite rapper, y'all. <laughs> but I'm a fan of both. Mm-hmm. I remember, I'm not... I'm not like some of you niggas, which I'm going to in a minute, that be like, <laughs> fuck one person because oh. you you like the other one. No, I like them both. Okay. <laughs> so, yes. It was close. This was, this was definitely a battle where niggas was like, damn, who you choosing, bang? Yeah. Um, but no. Um, uh, uh, um, beans got him. okay, all right, that's cool, that's cool, but uh, yeah, anyway, though, um, as the locks progressed as a group, man, I think you know it was somewhat noticeable, if not all the way clear, that Jada Kiss was the one <clears throat> who was not necessarily the most lyrical one in the group, but he was the guy that was going to be the emerging star, like the first star, nonetheless. Like, we know, like, you know, what I'm saying these guys are gonna end up having solo careers, put out solo efforts, but we knew <clears throat> that going into <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jada Kiss being the first solo artist that he was the guy. Jada Kiss was the guy. You know what I'm saying? Jada Kiss had the unique flow. He got the raspy flow. The raspy delivery. You know what I'm saying? He was he was the one. And it was pretty, uh, you know, inevitable that, you know what I'm saying, the, the solo career was going to be upon us for Jada. So, you know, upon that happening, you know, Jada Kiss does things like, you know, he's in a he's in the AI commercial, you know what I'm saying, with, with Allen Iverson. This is all before he does a solo album. Like Best hip hop commercial of all time. I ain't mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. And it's like, man, Joe, look at Jada becoming like, you know what I'm saying, one of the hottest artists in the game at the time, you know what I'm saying, doing a commercial with arguably, you know what I'm saying, one of the the, the, the greatest basketball players of all time. And at that time, one of the hottest basketball players at that time, AI, you know, then we, did we you know, embark on Jada's solo career, Kiss the Gang Goodbye, 2001, you know what I'm saying, he got the big big street anthem, we gonna make it, he got Knock Yourself Out on there. Then we get to, you know, keep it moving, go to 2004, we got Kiss of Death, you got one of Jada Kiss's biggest records on here of all time, a very controversial record, and you can arguably say, like, this is one of the like coldest hip hop songs of all time. Why? You know, sparks lots of controversy. In between that time, after that, you know, what I'm saying Jada Kiss, you know, in between labels, trying to figure out where you're gonna drop his next project. Yeah, he ends up doing, a, you know, what I'm saying doing a uh, deal with with Jay Rockefeller. Uh, the Last Kiss, 2009. This I feel this is I think the Last Kiss is my favorite Jada album. Okay, it's my favorite Jada album. I don't feel I think it's very slept on Jada album. I love, but I overall I love that album. Though. I'm still with Kiss the Game Goodbye. That's Kiss the Game Goodbye, first album. I'm mm-hmm. cool with that too. Um, I like the Last Kiss. That's my favorite one. Uh, he puts that out, and then he goes on like Jada Kiss, and then he goes on like a six year hiatus. Like Jada Kiss is kind of like, like as far as solo albums is concerned, nowhere to be found. But this is where Jada Kiss. This is why Jada Kiss. I feel like has one of the most impressive rap careers of all time. Okay, like. He's any he, even though he's not putting out solo efforts, like he only has five solo albums in the tuck. Throughout, you know, from 2001 up until 2020, and only have five solo albums. Like, but he's still to this day relevant. Like, that's very impressive. And I feel like if if he's not relevant through putting out solo albums, he's relevant through classic features. Like we said, bang, what classic feature is JD Kids not on? <laughs> it's not many, not many. I'm trying to tell y'all niggas, it's not many that Jada Kiss is not on. It's not, th- it's it's not many verses that Jada Kiss has not spit throughout this long, lengthy career. And then Jada Kiss comes back again, top five Dead or Alive album, two thousand fifteen. And I mean, 
I don't think JD Kiss has actually put out one of those like undeniable classics. He hasn't. He hasn't. JD Kiss has to put out one of those undeniable classics, but I think he has done a great job at any time that he emerges back on the scene, he still lets y'all niggas know I still got it. Like I'm still around. I can still make fire ass songs. Like, you know what I'm saying? You go to Top Five Dead or Alive, he got the joint with Puff. He didn't even play that, though. He could have played that in one. He could have played the You Don't Eat record with Puff off he Top Five Dead or Alive. He didn't play a lot of shit. He didn't play a lot of shit. He I mean, didn't play they, a both, lot. they both didn't play a lot of shit. Yeah. But God. <clears throat> <laughs> but Jada Kiss guys, Jada Kiss, Jada Kiss has touched a lot of shit, Joe, that he didn't even pull out, bro. And then you know what I'm saying the locks they let's keep it moving with Jada Kiss's career. The locks they re, they reunite under Rock Nation. They put out an album in 2016, and then uh, then Jada does the 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 duo album with with Fab. Freddy versus Jason. I think a lot of people was asking for this because we've seen Fab and Jada like rap, you know what I'm saying, do freestyles with each other. I wasn't really looking for this. I was looking forward to it. I think they kind of like set the tone for it. We was asking for it. It was supposed to be like in a mixtape and then they found the opportunity to just, hey, put out a album together. Let me say I'm not a fan of niggas doing um, albums with other niggas. Yeah. I'm not, so I'm a not lot of people... <laughs> So we don't want to see the Nas Jay Z album. Huh? I don't. I'm, <laughs> no, 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 no. What I'm saying is, like, if you were in a group, mm-hmm. and now you're doing another album with another, I'm never was a fan of that shit. Like, nah, nigga. Okay. Maybe that's the territorial nigga in me, but like, nah, nigga. Um, you, you, you <laughs> with the locks do music mm-hmm. with the locks, nigga. Mm-hmm. Like albums. Yeah. That's just yep. me though. Okay. But that was 2017. 2017, where, where we at? 97, 2007, two, uh, 2017. That's 20 years. Uh-huh. Jada Kiss has been on the scene for 20 years. There's only a handful of plus. rappers. 20 plus years. There's only a handful of rappers right now. Literally, a handful of rappers that have stayed relevant for 20 years. We can, we can literally name five, maybe, rappers that have stayed relevant since 97. 96 and Jada Kiss is one of them. So, uh, where we at now? We're in 2020. Jada Kiss arguably has one of the best solo rap albums of the year in 2020 with Ignatius. How is that even a thing right now? I mean, arguably, a bang, does he? Uh, the, the, okay. I, I, it's not one of my favorite projects of the year, but I know a lot of people digged it though, okay. and it was solid. It's solid, solid effort, solid, solid effort. And we're in 2020, and JD Kid still raps very fucking good, very fucking good. And he's actually looking younger than he's ever been before. Yeah, because I mean, <laughs> shit, <laughs> my fucking lost weight, <clears throat> lost weight, got a hairline That's and everything. It. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, but. This is just um just me giving y'all a quick history on Jada man, and I'm just showing my appreciation to him right now. That watching that versus battle, it was just it just brought all type of you know what I'm saying feelings, you know, to me and like me really like damn Joe, I kind of underappreciated Jada throughout his career, even though I did love him, I do love Jada, but I really it it really hit me that Jada Kids has been relevant for 25 years. Yeah. 25 years. We're in 2020 and we're still talking about Jada. Jada Kiss has the hottest meme on the street right now. Mm-hmm. The hottest meme on the street. Mm-hmm. He has the hottest saying on the street. Are we getting Jada drunk today, Bang? <laughs> I realized that nigga get drunk like me. We getting Jada drunk. That nigga get drunk <laughs> like me, fam. <laughs> but nonetheless, though, like, yeah, that's just me, man. I just wanted to, you know, show my appreciation to Jada Kiss and, um, and salute to him and hey that's what it is yo like i hope i didn't i didn't miss anything um bang you had anything i think how, how did i do i think you did good i think you um <clears throat> i mean i think i think you 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 eulogized him well i think yep. that okay let me get these off real quick right mm-hmm. um jadakus is one of my favorite rappers of all time mm-hmm. um um, according to y'all niggas, we look alike too. Bang. This is not an according to niggas. According to y'all niggas, we look This is not according to niggas. You look like this nigga. 
Y'all niggas favor each other, but go ahead, proceed. Okay, he even admitted. He said, yeah, yeah. Y'all niggas distant cousins. That's your distant cousin, goddammit. If we talk about distant cousins, Bang and Jada Kiss are fucking identical cousins. <laughs> the fuck? Niggas, proceed. That niggas, that niggas probably is. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. Um, mm-hmm. he, like I said, he admitted, he said the shit too. He's like, nah, we look like. He, well, he did make me mad. He was like, yo, you look like you could be my older brother. And I was like, fuck you, fam. You 45. You 45. I'm 30. Jada is in. Jada is so in. Fuck uh, you, Jack. All right. <laughs> yeah, he is appreciating himself looking young yeah, right now. Yeah, but nah, but his <laughs> man Ignatius. Um, um, Ice Pick J had passed away, cancer. Mm-hmm. Um. Um, really got him into, you know, getting fit and taking care of himself better. Um, and I had said to him, I said, I said this to Jadakus, and this is just my opinion. Mm-hmm. But Jadakus is the ultimate street nigga. Mm-hmm. That the ultimate street nigga who did well for himself. Yep. <clears throat> um, came in as a street nigga, started as a street nigga. You can even look at some of the. Look at some of the first locks interviews and shit. Them niggas, man. Them niggas was was media training was shit, you know. Mm-hmm. Let's figure this out. <laughs> um, but um, we seen him progress. Mm-hmm. But the great thing about Jadakiss and his progression is he still was the same nigga. Mm-hmm. Like he was. He just changed. He just flipped shit. He was still essentially the same nigga. He still drink. Mm-hmm. He still smoke. He just fit. You know? He's mm-hmm. just doing things differently. He fit. You know, things of that nature. Um, He ain't trying to tell niggas what to do with their life. <clears throat> and his music is still good. Mm-hmm. So... As far as Jadakus was concerned, excuse me, mm-hmm. but as far as Jadakus is concerned, right? I think Jadakus is one of the few artists who might not have had a classic album, mm-hmm. has classic songs, mm-hmm. might not have had a classic album, mm-hmm. but you can honestly say, so the fuck what? Yep. I think that's the most impressive thing about him. That's why I said he has, that's a hot take, one of the most impressive rap careers of all time. Yeah. Like, to not have a classic album under his belt, to not have many albums under his belt in a time span of 20 plus years, to only have, what, five solo albums. But, but, but Mike, I'm going to also hit you with this shit, right? I, look, and I'm guilty of it. I think we're mm-hmm. all guilty of it. So let me just say this here. If a nigga don't have a classic album, it doesn't define their career. Absolutely not. Like Trump, that's like saying that's like saying if you don't have a, a championship ring, right? You ain't in the Hall of Fame. Charles right? Barkley is one of the greatest power forwards of all time, mm-hmm. with or without a ring. Mm-hmm. Jadakus is an all-time great, mm-hmm. with or without a classic album. Mm-hmm. Because he has classic songs, mm-hmm. I think we be so in a rush <clears throat> for a motherfucker to have a classic, and I'm guilty of that shit too. Mm-hmm. So I'm not about to sit up here and just say, you know, it's just me and this bitch. Nah, mm-hmm. it's all of us. Niggas be so in the rush to to tell Nick to to be like, oh, this nigga didn't have a classic. This nigga didn't have a classic. Where's this nigga classic? No, he didn't have a classic. Like because because I think I think why we do that though is because we look at like some of the great artists like Jay, Nah, Nah, no, and I think and, and you like people be trying to figure out like nah, it's, uh, you, you, you hear the term like yo, what is his blueprint? Nah, what is what is his blueprint? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell what you. is his reasonable doubt? Nah, Mike, I'm gonna tell you what it is. What it is is. And part of what it is 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 the Source magazine, Mike system, huh? Mike system, 
Mm-hmm. That's part of this shit. Part of this shit is this mic system. Mm-hmm. We grew up on that shit, Mike. And we grew up letting us let us letting that determine whether an album was good yeah. or bad, instead of like just using our own judgment and listening shit to ourselves. Look, because <laughs> with the fabulous shit, I'm about to put this out here. Mm-hmm. I don't think a lot of niggas listen to fabulous albums. Uh, okay. Well, I, I do, but go ahead. I I ain't say you. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of niggas. I mm-hmm. believe that. And I said this chat out to V Miyagi. Shout out to my little homie. I'm going to put this in the group. I'm just going to throw it out here, Mike. A lot of niggas be lying. A lot of niggas be lying on their musical acumen. Mm-hmm. Here's why. It's damn near impossible for you to have every fucking album, Mike. What do you mean? What you mean? What do you mean? It what was damn near impossible for you to have every motherfucking album. Going. Oh, you mean like every album that ever came out? Yeah. Like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Every That's... motherfucker came out. Yeah. It's fucking impossible. Yeah. To have that shit. Mm-hmm. So, unless you... So, a lot of shit, niggas only heard if they were with their homies. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh, excuse me. If you wasn't with your homie, you probably didn't hit the album. Mm-hmm. But niggas would talk about an album like they heard that motherfucker, like they was there. You wasn't there. Mm-hmm. You probably heard a song. You probably did. Mm-hmm. But it was virt- it's virtually impossible to have every fucking album that every nigga released all the time. Mm-hmm. And what I mean by that is <clears throat> if Jadakus and Jay-Z and a whole bunch of artists come out at one time, you probably mm-hmm. picking one or two of those. Because remember, we come from the era when you had to buy the shit. Mm-hmm. We're not from the era of streaming. Mm-hmm. We're from the era of you having to buy the records. Mm-hmm. So... You mean to tell me that you had every album? You mean to tell me that you had every mixtape? You mean to tell me that you had every Lucy, every single, every mm-hmm. B-side? No, nigga. Mm-hmm. But niggas will argue you all day long, up and down, like they had the shit and you was never there. Mm-hmm. No. No. <laughs> No, I'm telling you, you can guarantee that niggas didn't have everything. Mm-hmm. Like I said, you probably saw some shit. You probably saw some shit. Heard some shit in the car with your homie, mm-hmm. and was like, "Oh yeah, this shit lit." Mm-hmm. But you didn't, nah, fam. It's hard for me to believe. That niggas had the shit. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to tell you right now, part of the reason why Jada won over Fab is because niggas didn't know. <laughs> niggas didn't hear songs. There's few niggas. I, look, I am not the biggest Jada Kiss fan. Not, no, you I mean not Jada Kiss fan. Fabulous fan. Not mm-hmm. the biggest fan. I'm not a Fab stan. Mm-hmm. That's not me. Mm-hmm. I guarantee you this, though. I've heard enough Fab when it comes to me being around my niggas. Mm-hmm. But one of which is Camp from the Port. Mm-hmm. That nigga is probably the biggest, biggest Fab fan I know. Mm-hmm. So I could trust him. When I be like, you know, hey man, when it comes to his opinion, a fad. Mm-hmm. But if the first songs you come out saying that, oh man, all Fab gotta say, all Fab gotta play is, and you give me the girl songs, mm-hmm. you ain't listening to Fab. Mm-hmm. You hearing him, but you ain't listening mm-hmm. to Fab. Mm-hmm. Look at some of the songs niggas say. <clears throat> when they hit you with them songs. And then knowing what we know about motherfucking 
about this goddamn versus shit. No, this ain't the battle for that. And you giving me the girl joints? Mm-hmm. You giving me them? You giving me the singles? Even you said, oh man, he left a whole bunch of songs in the tuck. Mm-hmm. He did. He did. Was any of them songs around about women? Give me a couple of songs that Fab left in the top. Oh, he didn't play. He didn't play the intro off the Young OG album. He didn't play Lituation. He could have. That could have went up. My current message. He could have played that. Um, if he wanted to go into the mixtape yeah. bag, he could have. He could have went like Soul Tape. He didn't go Soul Tape. Um, oh shit. What he didn't play, Fat Man, yo. He could have, he could have played, he could have played uh, the family reunion joints, the joints with Joe Budden in them, the Paul Kane mm-hmm. joints. Like he didn't go that route. Niggas barely mentioned Paul Kane's name, fam. He didn't, he didn't go that route. Um, he didn't play. What, what the fuck else, Fat didn't play? He didn't play. He didn't play jokes on you with Pusher. He could have, he could have played that. That could, that could have, that could have went up. He didn't play like none of his Red Cafe collabs. Like I'm ill. He could have threw that in there. That go up too. Like y'all know, it's a lot of joints, man. Fab threw. A, he left a lot of shit on the table, though. He left a lot of shit on the table. He did. He could have. It could have went another way, if if he was in that mixtape bag. Which I don't know. Like, is it like if we would have went mixtape way, could have been? Is that is mixtape songs fair in a versus battle? Yes. Yeah. If it's, if that would have been the case, then Fab could have. Shady Kiss done is damage. over here playing the street of the street. <laughs> he could have played Clue freestyles if he wanted to. Jada this played a Clue freestyle. Hit the two two uh, nines on me like Warren Sapp from the Bucks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I seen Camp from the Port say like uh, Fab had the best verse on "Fuck You." He could have played the he could have rebuttaled with "Fuck You" if he wanted to. He could have with his, his with his "Fuck You" freestyle. You know, there's <laughs> niggas out there that don't even know that exists. <laughs> That would have just been, and it, it, yeah, that, yeah, he could have did that. He could have. So what I'm saying, a lot of y'all niggas out here lying on y'all musical dicks. <laughs> a lot of y'all lying on. If you came into the group and was like, all Fab got to do is play, you be killing them. That's a Mm-mm. guarantee. Mm-mm. Oh no. Mm-mm. Super one. How come he played a joint with Lil Mo? You don't mm. listen to Fab. <laughs> There's a lot of niggas out here, man, that don't listen to a lot of niggas, man. Let's mm-hmm. just let's let's have an honest conversation, fam. Oh shit. A lot of y'all niggas be lying and y'all ain't heard shit. Here's the thing, fam. You got Apple Music, you got Tidal, you got mm-hmm. Spotify, you got um motherfucking um Amazon. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of music out here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-huh. Use it. Uh-huh. I'm not the biggest. I am not the biggest. What's name fan? Um, um, I'm not the biggest. Um, um, versus fan. Uh-huh. I'm not. I said this. Uh-huh. What I do like is the nostalgia behind shit. Uh-huh. And what I do like. Is that that you really all right, fam? Cool. Like you really get to see some of these artists that mm-hmm. you grew up with. Mm-hmm. That you grew up with playing their music, and you get mm-hmm. to listen back. And like, oh shit, yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember that. Mm-hmm. I remember that joint. Oh man. I remember. I remember. Fucking. Uh, being on Lakeshore Drive and playing and, and playing this joint, I remember being at a party and playing this joint. Uh, I remember that, mm-hmm. and really, really be like, "Yo, mm-hmm. man, I remember that day. <clears throat> I remember those days." Mm-hmm. There's a lot of niggas that can't do that, Mike. A lot of niggas that can't do that. They can't because they ain't listen. 
and you ain't got to lie about it. There's some miss. That's some shit that I miss too. But you got niggas that a lie to you up and down and be like, yo, this rapper is the best rapper. This rapper is the best rapper. This album is better than, and ain't even got the album in their discography. Uh-huh. This is when, when niggas get, when niggas be talking about Nas and how he don't pick the best beats. This is what, like, this is one of those when I'd be like, what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> Cause what beat is whack on Illmatic? Mm-hmm. What beat is whack on It Was Written? What beat? Was, <clears throat> it, and it can't be no whack beats on both of those considering that those two are classics. Mm-hmm. And some niggas will say Illmatic, I mean, It Was Written is better than Illmatic. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to hear shit about Nas is coming. Then you got I Am. What beat is whack off of I Am? <clears throat> narratives. You niggas run with Narratives. Shit don't be whack. You run with narratives, nigga. That's why Jadakin said he's not changing the narrative today. Mm -hmm. We're not going with these bitch songs today. Going with the hood here. And there was a couple of Jadakin songs and I know niggas was like, the fuck is this? Mm -hmm. The songs toward the end, I know niggas was like, oh, what was this? Oh, that's Jadakin's? Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. I ain't never heard that one. It's okay to not hear shit. <clears throat> it's it's okay. You just ain't gotta lie about those shits, fam. Cause a lot of y'all niggas be lying about the shit. It's okay. You ain't got to. Mm-hmm. It's <clears throat> cool. It's all right. You don't have to be involved with every fucking thing. Yeah. But a lot of y'all niggas be lying, fam. Mm -hmm. And I think Fabulous especially is one of the artists where niggas be lying about. Niggas ain't out there. Like, niggas, sorry. None of y'all niggas is out there really pumping. That was really pumping for Jadakiss. I'm sorry. It's a lot of y'all niggas that wasn't there who really wasn't on it mm-hmm. I'm sorry y'all out here stop <clears throat> fronting stop lying it's okay mm-hmm. it's a lot of Jadakiss is another one Jadakiss is another nigga who niggas be lying about talking about some yeah we heard this mm-hmm. we heard that we heard this, we heard that. No, nigga, you lying. Huh? This is what niggas be like. When niggas be trying to hit me with the, oh, man, yep. Yeah, the the Jadakiss shit. Huh? The Benny Sequel Jadakiss shit. Like, nah, nigga, y'all ain't hear everything. Mm-hmm. Y'all niggas probably even hear the Hot 97 shit. They probably mm-hmm. don't even know that's the Hot 97 shit. Mm-hmm. You niggas ain't you niggas, some of you niggas don't still got the 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 the, the burnt disc. Mm-hmm. The shit that you got at the barber shop. Stop lying to kick it with these to talk about this shit when it comes to this rap shit. <clears throat> you don't have to do it. In fact, now that you have all of these platforms, go back. Listen to the shit. But a lot of y'all niggas read some shit out of Vibe, Source Magazine, read a song, and you regurgitate that motherfucking song. Mm-hmm. When I be talking about niggas, when I be talking about the 2001 from yep. Dr. Dre. That's why I say you a true fan if you give me the songs at the end of the album. Because <laughs> that means you like them bitches if you keep talking about them. Yeah. There's some niggas who think the album stops at explosive. <laughs> we had that talk already. Yes. We about and that. it was proven. <laughs> yes, for some niggas it was proven. Well, well yeah, 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 yeah. Not for you, Mike. Don't take Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. For yeah, some but... niggas this shit was proven. <laughs> hey, oh man, this nigga obviously don't know what he's talking about. That's crazy. Cause explosive is only number six on that album. So. Yes. Yeah, I think it's crazy. <clears throat> Nigga, I'm telling you, 
Niggas be out here lying to kick it. It's okay. It's okay for you to be like, nah, I ain't heard that one. I ain't heard that one. You sure about that one? <laughs> I ain't heard that one. Nah, man, that one shit. Y'all got me on that one. It's okay. Yeah. But you niggas, man, I tell you, you going to see this more as these versus battle goes on. Imagine if Fat Joe gets in the versus battle, nigga. I just saw uh I just saw somebody talking about Fat Joe getting into a versus battle. Imagine if they do Fat Joe versus Noriega. Mm, that's an interesting matchup right there. Niggas is gonna be like, well, that is an interesting battle. That'd be an interesting one right there. Because this nigga niggas gonna be like all of a sudden, and I ain't gonna think. Oh man, Fat Joe winning that one. Fat Joe gonna win that one. This is an easy battle for Fat Joe. And they gonna regurgitate the same shit. Mm-hmm. Niggas gonna be like the songs with him and R. Kelly. Uh, him and R. Kelly. We can play. He can play the Ashanti record. Play the Ashanti song. <laughs> Niggas gonna all Noriega. All Noriega got is what? 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 That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all you guys know what? Niggas, I saw in the group of them motherfuckers saying that Noriega is not a legend. Mm. You wasn't mm. there. You didn't mm. listen. Mm. I'm not saying that Fat Joe would lose to Noriega. I'm not saying that. Mm-hmm. I'm just telling you how the conversation gonna go. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that's all that nigga got. Oh man, that nigga all he got is what, 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 what? Don't nobody win that what, 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 what shit. This nigga Fat Joe got what Gigolo? He ain't got no song called Gigolo. No, that's Nick Cannon. Oh, that's Nick Cannon. Yup, that's Nick Cannon. <laughs> but R. Kelly. But is he do got that song with R. Kelly. Yeah, he do got that song with R. Kelly and that song with the shots. He was a what's love got to do. Got to all do he got is all he got is lean back. Yeah, all he got is lean back. He got lean back. He got that song with the shots. Oh, he killing him. He got all his songs with Big Pun. Mm-hmm. All of his songs. <laughs> they not gonna hit no B side. They barely even say deep cover. They probably don't even say jealous ones envy. They probably don't even say flow Joe. They not even going that far back. They not. And Noriega, they not even going to mention Capone and Noriega albums. They're not. They're not even going to mention Ben from TV. Because they not about to say they might not even say Ben from TV. He's on Ben from even... TV. <laughs> He's not going to mention none of them shits. They're just automatically going to assume that it's Noriega. He's a podcaster. Mm-hmm. He ain't got no songs. I to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, <sighs> when you hear a nigga do that shit, he don't know. <clears throat> he was never there. At all. Be careful with them niggas. <laughs> mm-hmm. Don't talk to them niggas about music. Don't talk to niggas about shit. Yeah. Because them niggas, <clears throat> them niggas, all them niggas who think, who, who talk before they even think, Can't they don't charged. even research the, the, the catalog. Them the niggas you don't need to talk to. <laughs> when Them the niggas that don't even need to be in some dude pod group. <clears throat> them the niggas. They lie. You don't have to lie about music, people. You don't. If you didn't hear it, if you're unfamiliar, say it. Nobody's. If a nigga be like, oh, you ain't heard that shit? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I didn't. My bad. <clears throat> Them the niggas you got to watch out for, Mike. And I'm telling you, I, I like Fab. I'm not the biggest Fab fan. Mm-hmm. I'm a Jadakiss fan. Mm-hmm. But my versus picks wasn't because I was a fan. I actually listened to the motherfucking songs. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh yeah, oh yeah. But you got a lot of niggas who's gonna pick them songs because of what they just know. They, oh, that song, yeah, that song did numbers. This song did. No, which song is better? Yeah. <clears throat> and the way I did it, like I, I did it based off how I felt which songs was better. But it was an overpowerment for Jada 
and Jada was just in the bag. He and was that in his did bag. that same shit too. And Jada was in his bag. Jada was in his bag. And and that's the reason why I gave Jada flowers today because when I was like I said, watching that, it was it was like, wow, Jada really a legend. And that takes nothing away from Fab because one day, maybe on another some dude pod, I would give Fab flowers as well because Fab is one of those rappers who's twenty plus years mm-hmm. still to this day one of the most relevant hip hop artists out right now. So that's a that's major. That's a, a strong just as just as strong as Jada's rap career is. Fab has just as strong one. Just you know, different angles, different type of music. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is though. Fam. Like, <laughs> like I said, man, a lot of y'all niggas, man, y'all niggas don't pay attention. Y'all want that. Y'all wasn't really paying attention. And you know what? It is okay. But just don't jump in my arguments. Just don't jump in my debates. Don't jump in my conversations. Because a lot of y'all niggas, a lot of y'all niggas wasn't really paying attention. Or I wasn't outside. <laughs> y'all wasn't really paying attention. <clears throat> y'all wasn't really talking. Yeah. Y'all wasn't. Y'all, y'all just, y'all just want to be involved in the conversation. Anytime y'all niggas tried to hit me with the, anytime y'all niggas tried to hit me with the, but he gonna play, throw it in the bag, the remit, anything with a chick, fam. Nah, y'all good. And I was, and, and, keep it a buck. and keep it a buck. I was disappointed with niggas, man. I was really disappointed with niggas. <clears throat> Don't be that. Don't be that guy, y'all. Oh, Mike. <laughs> All right, man. Um, we almost out of here, man. We almost out of here for the fourth, but you know we couldn't. You know we couldn't come out of here without talking about um, August Alcina. Oh. <laughs> Yo, shout out to August Alcina. That album is out right now, y'all. Go, go get that. Did you listen? No. <laughs> I've ahead. never listened to an August Alcina album ever. I haven't either. So I'm not gonna. Uh, the conversation with him and Angela Yee is not gonna make me go listen to an August Alcina album. I'm not even an August Alcina fan. I've never been an August Alcina fan. You not? No, bro. You I think he might be good for like a hook or two or on some sh- on like certain records or whatever like that. But I've never. Come on, man. This- August Alcina's for the women. He's for the women. But I like R and B. I like R and B for the women. Nah, he, nah, he give him the women. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a fan. I'm not finna be like, yo, throw that August. I say, you know, let's put that. Let me throw that on. Let me let me listen to this. Nobody shit. is. Nah. Yeah, I'm not fucking with that. But that's crazy though. Um, but yeah, August Alcina claims that you know he was involved in a relationship with Jada Pinkett Smith. Uh, Will Smith gave him uh blessings to you know be involved with Jada, whether it was romantically, physically, or whatever the case may be. Um, and I think I guess that just sprung up the conversations of exactly how Will and Jada's um, marriage is, which we've kind of got an idea. We don't necessarily. I, I don't think we, we don't know. I don't think we actually know the exact type know. of marriage that they have. Their terms don't. Oh, oh, they have an open marriage, which is a know. thing. Or we think that they're swingers. Is sw- Let me ask you a question, Bang. Is being a swinger, is swinging and having an open marriage, is that that's not the same thing, right? I mean, damn, they're the same shit, yeah. I'm going to say this. When I think of swinging, like swingers, I think of Will and Jada. Um, go- I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to say Will and Jada. I'm just going to say a couple going on a date with another couple. And yeah, then they it. end the night with fucking each other's significant other. Like in the same room. Yeah, that's what I think of is. when I think swingers. Now, does Will and Jada do that? I don't know. I don't know. Have they ever done that? We always is there's always these you know these accusations and claim claims about what they are and what goes on within their marriage, which you know what I'm saying at the end of the day it ain't not our business. But you know, but yeah, I it's crazy though. August Alcina kind of like he he kind of like pretty much just opened up that can of worms again. <laughs> he opened up the can of worms and he did it like he <laughs> and shout out to Doma T I see him post that he, and it was a lot of follow up questions that we could have when Doma T put up on his Facebook he was like man there was a lot of follow up questions that we could have got from Angela Yee that she didn't ask nah that we could have got answers to <laughs> you know what I'm saying I like she so, could have asked all of the fucking questions she could have asked every possible question that we, 
so are they swingers like what exactly goes on here like you you know what i'm saying like what happens here like what does this involve exactly like when you say romantically when you say physically are you do you mean like you guys so you and jada physically had sex like y'all had sex how yeah, was he he didn't <laughs> say, he didn't really say that they fucked exactly see what i'm saying we don't really have that it's, at this point it's still we, we still don't know. We still don't know. And don't say shout out to Jada. Jada got on Twitter and said, you know, she's going <laughs> to. She's she going gonna, to the red table. Tonight. She going to the red table to do some healing. <laughs> we don't know. Is this publicity for red table? I don't think Jada needs publicity for red table. I think red table is a, is a pretty, uh, you know what I'm saying? Significant uh, platform right now that she has that people are going to watch regardless. You know, I guess I've seen on the other hand, you know, I guess he's trying to reboot that career of his. <laughs> you know, I don't know. But it's crazy, man. What is your take on it? Oh, uh, <laughs> man. <laughs> hey, man, everybody can't fuck with older women. They can't. No. Mike, have you ever had that? How many older women you fucked in your life? My wife is, uh, my wife is, she has seven years on me, man. Seven? Yeah. Damn, <laughs> nigga, she robbed the cradle. Shut up, nigga. Whoa, <laughs> Mike Vita, cool. God damn, <laughs> seven of them. Shit, Mike. Damn, <clears throat> damn, she took your ass. Then she took me. Damn. Mm hmm. When I was a young buck. Damn. <laughs> Damn, Mike. Mm-hmm. Okay. Makes so I, I could kind of see where August I've seen this at okay. with it, but you know, I don't think <clears throat> This is interesting, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. I did not know this. We are not gonna have a red table talk no, no, right now, not, babe. I'm not having a red table talk with you. <laughs> okay. Not because <laughs> shit, seven, okay. My father and my mother are seven years apart. Okay. But I'm gonna go a little bit older, right? You know, I in my twenties, have dabbed with women close to their forties and their forties. See, I've never done that. Yeah, I've done that. I haven't done that, Mike. You a cold ass nigga. You got to be a different breed of man to <laughs> not be what Al August Alcina was with Angela Yee. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't that. Now, let me preface this by saying that August Alcina has had a lot of shit go on in his life. Mm -hmm. So I know we are having some fun. Mm -hmm. Here with August, I know yeah. we're 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 teasing, we're yeah. teasing. Um, so I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot. I know it is a lot that is going on with August Alcina. Mm -hmm. But even with that, fam, it you can't, man. It's a lot, fam. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. <clears throat> it's a lot. You can't just. <sighs> yeah. That's a whole different breed, Jack. Man. And as I said, fam, like, here's the thing, fam, with, 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 when it comes to older women. Mm -hmm. It's undefeated. It's not even the sex, fam, it's the conversation. Mm hmm. It's it's not the fact that they can do some things mm -hmm. differently, uh, know how to move around and shit mm -hmm. like that, fam. It's not. It's not just that. It's that conversation afterwards. Mm -hmm. Like you be, you be talking and shit after sex, and you know normally when you fucking some of these young chicks, as we will say, chicks your age. <clears throat> they ratchet, fam. They don't want to do. Yeah. They don't want to do shit. Mm hmm. They don't do none of that. Yeah. <clears throat> they, 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 they ratchet. Mm hmm. They, they want to get wild, fam. They don't want to do that. Yeah. That older woman, though. Mm hmm. After y'all fuck the silly fan. Sailor fan is is going, mm -hmm. and and when the sailor fan is going, probably roll up a blunt. Her, her head in your chest, pass you the blunt. Yeah. 
Y'all still stinky, sweaty, sticky. Yep. The cover is barely on y'all and shit. Mm-hmm. And she just talking. Yeah. And she ain't talking about no regular shit. Mm-hmm. She talking about life. Yeah. She she talking about shit that you ain't never had a conversation about. It could be about mm-hmm. taxes. Yeah. It could be about jobs. Grown man conversation. Grown man, grown conversation. Yeah. And you sitting there, probably some slow grooves playing. You like, damn, I ain't never did this before. <laughs> then she look up from you. She look up at you. Mm-hmm. While she on your chest, she, she move that head back mm-hmm. and she look at you. And say something as simple as how you doing? Oh, nigga. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> then be like, you know what? I'll be right back. I'm about to go to the refrigerator. You thirsty? Mm-hmm. She get up, no clothes on. See her ass? She, pussy probably still dripping. Mm-hmm. She just walk to the walk to the goddamn refrigerator, come back up with you a nice cold drink, mm-hmm. some water, some organic, some kombucha, or some shit. Yeah, nigga, you sitting there in the bed like, fuck, the fuck just happened. Damn. What do I do? You confused. She got you. Mm-hmm. She got you. She ain't kicked you out the house. You ain't got to worry about no other nigga. Because even if she's in a relationship mm-hmm. with another nigga, she's married. You the side piece. Mm-hmm. She know when the nigga is coming. Mm-hmm. So you're comfortable. You ain't gotta worry about shit, Mike. Yep. Then y'all probably she 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 probably take you out to some new place that you ain't never been before. Yep. Told you to wear your clothes like this. <clears throat> Do that. It's not about the pussy. Mm-hmm. I've had great pussy by women younger than me. That has been mm-hmm. better with some of these older women. Mm-hmm. But it's the intangibles that fuck you up. Nigga, August Alcina is fucked up. <laughs> By the intangibles. Mm-hmm. It's the intangibles. Mm-hmm. That's what's fucked up. That's what it is right there. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Yeah. It's like, fuck. You might be on to something. Yeah. That's what it is, man. It's the intangibles. Get you every fucking time. Yeah. That nigga on there talking about he could die right now. That ain't over pussy. Yeah. That ain't over some different way of getting head. That's past that. That's, That's the past intangibles. That. Mm-hmm. Mike, it's the intangibles that fucks us up. Yeah. You got to be a different breed to get through them intangibles. <laughs> I remember this old head. That I fucked Mike. She, she 40. She was she was Hispanic. She said she was Venezuelan and some other shit. Yeah. So I was like, oh shit. I was at work at Best Buy. Mm-hmm. And she sent me a negligee, Mike. We okay. ain't fucked yet, Mike. Mm-hmm. Barely talking to her. She said. Do you want me to wear this when you open the door? I say, wait, what? <laughs> I was at work like, wait, what? I'm like 23 at this time. No, I came back from Atlanta. Came back from Atlanta, so I'm 24. Yeah. I'm like, what? Wear this when I open when you open the door. Damn. Okay, yeah. Yep. Yes. Give my grown man on. Yes. Yes, I will. Mm-hmm. I want you to do that. And she lived in Bartlett, fam. So I traveled for the pussy. Went on my cousin's house. She's like, yo, I'm about to go to Bartlett. What are you go to Bartlett for? She about to go see what this pussy like. All right, cool. Just let you know where I'm at. Mm-hmm. Drive to Bartlett. Park in the gr- park in the in the parking space. Nigga, she opens the door with the negligee on. Yeah. And it was candles going to her bedroom. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I'm fucked up by the intangibles already. Because I'm like, she she processed this. Mm-hmm. Got Mozart playing. 
Now I did tell her, turn that shit off. Mm-hmm. But see, the nigga in me, the young nigga, oh, I ain't trying to have no sex with no goddamn Mozart. Mm-hmm. But shit, I did. And I was like, whoa. And then she talked to me, Mike, afterwards. <laughs> she talked to me. Was like, yo, would you like a beer? I'm like, oh, yeah. I'll take a beer. Same shit. Uh-huh. Had a different beer, too. She ain't bring me no Miller Genuine Draft. Yeah. She bring me no motherfucking Miller Light, nigga. <laughs> she, she, Miller, she, she brought me some, some new shit I ain't never heard of. I'm looking at the beer like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. This shit's great. Okay. Intangibles. Yep. Mike, I knew I had to get out of there. <laughs> get out. I knew I had to get out of there. Mm-hmm. I knew I had to get out of there, nigga. Mm-hmm. Cause get out, motherfucking, yep. the motherfucking. So get your, I'm not gonna hypnotize me. Mm-hmm. I was like, yo. After the third time, I was like, yo, I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta go. It's That's the, August. I've seen it right now. It's the intangibles, fam. Mm-hmm. It's the intangibles, and I learned at that moment about the intangibles. Mm-hmm. So any and. The majority of the women that I messed with were older than me. Mm-hmm. Especially after that point. Yeah. Because I ain't getting that shit. Mm-hmm. I want the intangibles. Mm-hmm. I want the thrill. Mm-hmm. I want I want you to tell me to wear this shirt. Mm-hmm. I want you to do that. Yeah. That's what August Alcina fucked up at. August Alcina's fucked up at the intangibles. Mm-hmm. It's not the pussy. It's the intangibles. <laughs> Especially when he got some shit going on in his life. Yeah. When a nigga got some shit going on in his life, the last thing he need is a woman trying to tell him about life. Yeah. <clears throat> this mm-hmm. nigga August Alcina, his sister died, raising her kids, mommy issues, all that shit. Ain't gonna fuck Jada Pinkett. <laughs> she already somebody that you grew up with. Nigga, if you didn't watch Jason's lyric and say, God damn, you, I don't know about you, fam. Mm-hmm. Got all that shit, fam. And August Alcina is supposed to straighten up, fly right, tie button up, not had a shot show, Bob. After seeing Jason's lyric, probably when he was younger. Yep. I too watched Jason's lyric. <clears throat> I too said after watching Jason's lyric, God mm-hmm. damn, Jada Pinkett bad. Mm-hmm. And what did she do in Jason's lyric? She was playing mm-hmm. hard to get. She was yep. telling that nigga about his life, how to change it and all that shit. That nigga wanted to move. <clears throat> Jada Pinkett has already set this shit up. She been doing... Nigga, she been Kane doing. was about to move to fucking Kansas. <laughs> this With nigga her. was like, nah, I ain't moving no more fucking Kansas. It's something in your eyes, baby. <laughs> I'm moving to Kansas. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> Man. She, did you see the gif that I put up? Yep. That move is undefeated. That move is only done by women older than you. Your head be down and shit. She grabbed that motherfucker, lift it up, and turn and look at you and look it in the eye. No, fam, ain't no young chick doing that shit to you and you taking it seriously. Unless she's mature. Yeah. Which is a rarity. Nigga, she lift that nigga Kane head up, turned it around, and looked him in his eye. It's something in your eyes, baby. Mm-hmm. Telling me you want me, baby. What that tonight is, yo. Took his shit. See, that's virginity, then that's that shit. Mm-hmm. Nigga lose their virginity just to, oh, I'm getting pussy. Get pussy for the first time. No. That shit, when, if a nigga ever got his soul took, that's <laughs> just your virginity right there. <laughs> nigga, she took that nigga soul and she moved, was gonna move to Kentucky. I mean, Kansas. Yep. Nigga, come on. Fa- Jada Pinkett, what she do up in, uh, what's the movie? movie they went to the essence festival um it don't uh, even matter the name of the shit what did she do in the movie fuck that young nigga oh you talking about uh uh um uh, um the girl strip yeah fuck that yeah, young yeah, nigga yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. fuck that young nigga and she was she was dick deprived mm-hmm. 
and fuck that nigga life up with a glare glow nigga some <clears throat> women just got it August Alcina just could he couldn't mm-hmm. it was all the way to where he just had to tell everybody he about had to it. tell his story man he had to get yeah. his thoughts off that nigga said I could die today knowing nigga that ain't pussy Mm-hmm. That's the intangibles. Yeah. That's the intangibles, ladies and gentlemen. I know I put up that photo of August Alcina, which got a lot of shares, mm-hmm. too. Almost went viral. Yeah, almost went viral. I was shocked. Like 460 shares or some shit. Oh, that's viral. I didn't know you had that many shares yeah, on it. Oh, I looked you? this morning. Oh, you went viral, nigga. I guess. Shit. So, I, well, you know what? I went viral enough that motherfucker cut my name out. Damn. Got the picture and cut that motherfucker out. Oh, yeah. That's definitely when you go viral. Yeah, that's when you go viral. You right. You right. Yeah, when you go viral and they cut your shit off, yeah. Nigga, yeah you went viral. But, but what I say in that bitch? What I say in that bitch? When older women say, boy, I'll make you fall in love. You better go somewhere. This is what and who they mean. Got yep. six, out of fact, got 634 shares. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm going to put the pod in here. Again. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You know you went viral when a motherfucker puts like they barred their lyrics in that. <laughs> like they songs in there. Bang six hundred thirty four. Yeah, bang went viral. But that's the thing. Like it's not. And I saw a couple of women that shared. It's like, yeah, when we put that pussy on you, no, it ain't that. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you it ain't that. Mm-hmm. Cause here's the thing: when we fuck you and we see you do anything as an older woman, y'all react. I was like, I'm fucking the shit out this old bitch. Mm-hmm. Of course, I'm a nut. No, it's the intangibles. It's the intangibles that get us. And when you had that conversation with us, your head laying on our chest, you ain't out here talking no ratchet shit. You ain't up in, you ain't up in this, that shit talking about some boo-boo and this and that and shit. You actually talking to me nice. Maturely. Mm-hmm. Go get me some lemonade with your ass shaking while you're doing it and shit too. Just continue walking around naked in the house. Yep. Especially if you are married and you be like, damn, your nigga coming home? Oh, don't worry about that shit. He going on a business trip. He'll be gone for two days. Mm-hmm. Oh, word? Oh, man. <laughs> you can't do that with no chick around the crib. She be like, oh, man, my baby daddy on his way over here now. See, that's the difference. Yeah, That's the intangibles. Mm-hmm. Baby daddy here, you be like, damn, I got to tell my nigga where I'm at. Fuck, fam. Man, this nigga better not come, man. I'm, he better not get mad at me. That's his girl. I don't know who this nigga is. That's the de- that's the intangibles. I don't know who that nigga is. To man, this nigga going on a business trip for three days, mm. and I can stay. It fucking nigga up though. Fucking nigga up. Yeah. Fucking nigga up. Take you, <clears throat> man, Mike. Imagine if she takes you out to dinner. She takes you out to dinner, and it ain't Applebee's. Mm-hmm. It's Gibson's or some shit. <laughs> you be like, oh man, what? Yep, that's a whole different kind of yeah. woman. Yeah, like oh, no, you can't, you can't go to dinner looking <laughs> like that. I mean, what? No, nah, just wear this. Just, just wear this. You can wear, you can wear that. He, yep. y'all the same size. What? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. What? You want me to put on his? Yeah, just put that on right there. Get out, bro. Get out. All right? Get <laughs> out. Just put, put that on right now. We August I seen this shit have got out. What? Come on. <laughs> Tell me if I'm wrong in what I'm saying no, you're, here. You're absolutely correct, though. You are absolutely you know what correct. what I'm saying here is the intangibles. Yeah. Now, if she just so happens to do some shit that the young girl won't do, mm-hmm. that's extra. Oh damn, she oh she nasty nasty tonight. <laughs> oh word. Oh damn. You know, you ain't gonna wanna go back to no young pussy after that. Mm-hmm. You not, you not. Cause she ain't gonna do that shit. I'm like, ugh, you nasty. Mm-hmm. But yet she been telling you on Facebook she's a freak. But, but then, when you actually get that mold, she's like, oh, no, nah, I'm not doing that. I thought you said she was a freak. Yeah, but, ugh. Mm-hmm. Nigga, that old woman and already hit you with the intangibles. 
The first couple of times y'all the nail, she's not even gonna hit you with the real shit yet. She gonna test you out. She gonna see if you game. She gonna see if you ain't gonna tell. She gonna look at all them shits. And once she get comfortable with you, that's when she knock you down, Mike. <laughs> and that's probably what happened to August Alcina. Jada Pinkett Smith, Jason's Lick, all these other things. She nailed a couple, of, he nailed a couple of times while Will was nailing Margot Robbie. Mm. Shout out Will for that. Yeah. That he allegedly Shut reportedly up. nailed that. And if he did Really? Oh, that's an alleged thing? That's an alleged? That's alleged. Oh, Will the GOAT for that. Yeah, it's alleged. They were throwing all them motherfucking shits on, on Twitter. <clears throat> the clips of them two. Oh, mm. but back to Jada. All them shits, fam. And she probably, she probably touched that nigga soul one day. Mm-hmm. We was going to get to this motherfucking TV shit, but the Jada kid shit went long. Yeah, that's cool. We we could get into that we one. We get in that a little bit, late. but nah, fam. I'm just telling you, I'm telling you, fam. August Alcina, I'm not mad at him. Not mad. At not him. mad at him at all, because them intangibles is hard, man. It's difficult, mm-hmm. and you got to run from it before you got to run from it and learn. I mm-hmm. did. I did. Now, bang, what if Jada flipped the narrative on Red Table, bro? What you mean? Like, she just, like, deny all accusations. Well, he never said that he fucked. Okay. It just was implied the way he was talking. He never said that he fucked. He never said that they were sexual. Okay. But here's the thing, Mike. That's the intangibles. Mm-hmm. He ain't even got to say they fucked. He don't have to. He ain't got to. She <laughs> hit him with the intangibles. You should sit there and she talking to you all types of shit. All types of shit. She talking to you and shit. Mm. And you just sitting there like, damn, I'm never going to get this conversation with these young bitches. Never. Mm-hmm. Never. Because you were brought up in your environment. You know what I'm saying? If you grew up on the West Side, you're going to try to grow up. You're going to try to go and get you some out west pussy. You know what I'm saying? You're going to try to get it from a different place out west. So if you're from, mm-hmm. from North Austin, you're probably going to go a little bit south. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That you, you, If you're from Roosevelt, you're probably going to try to get you some pussy in another area because you're still trying not to shit where you eat, but west side is going west side. Same thing with the south side. It's like even when you first got your first piece of pussy from out south. Mm-hmm. They, this, uh, look. Niggas get their first piece of pussy out south. They think they doing something. Now they just out south all the damn time. Oh, now I'll be out. I'll be out in Hyde Park all the time, nigga. Mm-hmm. I got pussy out there. Mm-hmm. I be in Riverdale all the time, nigga. I got pussy out there. Nigga, I be in Harvey all the time. I got pussy out there. Every nigga do it. We think because we went into another neighborhood and we got some pussy. The pussy automatically better too. Mm-hmm. Look, <laughs> I can't tell you the last time I had sex with a woman from out out west. Before I got married. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I had a very, very extended relationship with an Al West girl. That's a story for another day. <laughs> it's a very extended relationship. <laughs> it's very extended. It was very long. I was in a deep relationship with Al West girl. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, too. And I'm from Al West. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shit. But, but yeah. yeah, man. Like, <clears throat> was she a rat, fam? Rat. Damn, Mike. Hood rat. Get told. Damn, Mike. I had a ghetto one. I had a ghetto one. You I had a ghetto. You had a ghetto. My, I, I apologize, Mike. I had a ghetto one, bro. I, it was. A, she it was, was loud. Long. Wow, man, bang, man, yes. Loud. It was, she was. She was one of those. One of those. Not all the way ghetto type, but Not she all was the way there. Ghetto. But like right there, like she was kind of like a mixture of classy ghetto, but more oh, ghetto. Man. More ghetto. She probably did hair work in retail. Yeah, she do nails right now. I think. Oh, fuck. <laughs> at this specific moment, she do nails. Damn. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mike. It's cool. It's all good. But you got you got away from it. We well, got away from you. That got one. away from it. <laughs> Change your life. I'm I'm glad. I'm glad. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. glad. I yeah. no. Nah, I dodged a bullet. 
Mm-hmm. I dodged the bullet. Like I went <laughs> over to the crib, chick crib house after having sex with a woman and went over to the crib, girl crib. <laughs> and the first thing she said when I went over to the crib was just let you know, I ain't having no more kids. I was like, yo, this is the first conversation <laughs> that we having. I never know. I don't know. Like, like yeah, this ain't it. I, this ain't <laughs> it. I don't know if some nigga <laughs> trapped you. But that, and I knew that was never going to go anywhere. Mm-hmm. And then she had showed me pictures before because she had a baby. She showed me her before pictures. And I was mm-hmm. like, damn, no wonder why that nigga trapped you because you was bad before. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we stopped talking. Mm. I know I'm. <laughs> you ain't shit. I ain't shit. <laughs> but, but. But funny thing is, is chick came over to my crib and I was drunk and I was like, damn, nigga, shit, I dodged the bullet. And he was like, yo, jump, babe, you tripping. I was like, no, she pregnant. She said she wasn't going to have no kids. First thing she told me, she wasn't going to have no kids. Now mm-hmm. she woke up in pregnant and busted. Nigga, that that would have been you. Nigga, that would have been drunk. you. My cousin was like, yo, you tripping right now. But this shit funny to the motherfucker. I was like, yo, you had to been there. Hey, how you doing? Get your yeah. ass out of here. That's how you going to greet me. I'm like, yeah, shit. But y'all know I ain't shit. Uh, look, yeah. I know I'm fat. I ain't the most attractive. I'm a seven. But mm-hmm. I'm hilarious. So them three notches get me to a 10. I'm the mm-hmm. shit. You know mm-hmm. what? But you know who more than that? Some of these old ass women with these intangibles. And that's why I moved away from them, man. So I'm glad you moved away from that, Mike. I, I did. Shit. I'm glad I you did. moved away from that, Mike. Yep. Got you somebody that's a vet. It's mm-hmm. gonna teach you the game. Mm-hmm. Gonna grab your chin, pull it up. You look you in the eye. So she's seven years older mm-hmm. than you. Mm-hmm. So that means she's around me. Oh man! So so you should have been listening to like Isley Brothers and shit like that. I, I should have, huh? You should. That's been. cool. I, I you should have been schooling me on some throwback <laughs> shit. Like, nigga, this is what you need to play right here. Like, but she got the, the she got the young younger soul in her though. That's so. cool. Look, that's so, cool. That's cool. Like I said, she watched WWE with me, but we watched right, WWE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, you, ain't, she, you put her on to that shit, though, right? Well, she, we, she kind of was like on it, too. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So she was kind of on it. Most, like, women be, most women be front about that shit. No, 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 no. I didn't put her on. She she actually is a wrestling Most women fan, be so. watching wrestling. They just be fronting this shit. That's why <clears> there's some motherfuckers. I was like, shit, if you was watching wrestling in high school, shit, I could have been finger fucking you watching wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> yep, no, she, a, <laughs> she a she a fan fan. So. But nah, but you want to be in school talking about some you lame and see that's shit I'm talking about. The same chicks and shit be oh you lame as hell. You still watching wrestling and shit. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, you watching wrestling naked. Look at him. Look, Look at him. That a big ass screen TV. You ain't she still ain't she ain't got the motherfucking TV with the VCR attached to it still up in there. She ain't got the TV with the floor monitor. She ain't got the floor monitor TV that don't work. But the flat screen on top of it. Nah, you yeah. just went to a nice house. Mm-hmm. You, and, and she watching wrestling to you. She and she put you a plate down at the table talking about some, oh, here's some snacks. Yeah. Let's watch wrestling <laughs> together. Mm-hmm. I said, what do you know about John Cena? Nigga, man. Hey, you wanna watch wrestling? You wanna fuck? Like, like right. you sure no, we watch wrestling. <laughs> also, now I gotta wait. Now you mad, cause you gotta wait. Mm-hmm. If this was if this was a regular Monday night, you'd be like, Yo, I'm watching wrestling. Oh, get the fuck off me. <laughs> I'm trying to watch wrestling, bitch. Like, get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. When you playing the game, she, oh, no, kick your feet up. Right. Play the game for a little bit. I got to go take care of some things anyway. So go. Nigga, that's the intangibles, nigga. Intangibles. That's the, the intangibles. intangibles, nigga. <laughs> fuck out of here, man. August Alcina got fucked up by the intangibles, man. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's motherfucking intangibles, man. All right, man, we out though, man. The intangibles, yes, sir. the intangibles, man. That's the name of the episode. The yeah, intangibles. Man, you got damn right, fam. My, look, my wife walked in the door and was like, "Nigga, you crazy? Mm-hmm. You why? Because <laughs> I told her this. She was like, "Man, I ain't need no niggas think like I ain't need no men think. Look, man, if you watching wrestling and the motherfucker tell you to kick your feet up, <clears throat> but if you try to watch some wrestling and you, the young girl come over there, she be like." Ugh. You still watch wrestling? Mm-hmm. Lame ass. Ugh. Mm-hmm. I can't believe I'm fucking with you. Mm-hmm. Hey, nigga. I ain't watched wrestling since I was younger. I thought you grew up out of that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nigga Jada Pinkett like, hey, man. Shit, I got you. I got tickets for Raw. And it's backstage. Ooh. 
<laughs> you want to meet John Cena? I just did a movie with him about three weeks ago. Nigga, and I'm shit. Tangible. <laughs> and, and I'm going to do everything in my power to pay her back. All right? Yep. <laughs> pay her back. Yep. I'm pay- intangibles. Man, look. Hey, look. Y'all better watch Red Table Talk. And learn some. Stop watching that <laughs> shit for gossip and innuendo, nigga. Yeah. Learn some of that shit, nigga. Heal. Mm-hmm. Ladies, heal. We healing, y'all. We healing. We healing. Hey, <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. This has been a good episode. I like this episode. We can talk shit. You crazy. I like this episode. Man, I learned some shit about Mike. Mike Cradle got robbed and shit. Yeah. This nigga Cradle got robbed and shit. Took his shit. That's a story for another pod. We'll get hey, into that. Look, look, story hey, for another pod. Hey, we almost had a real full story time with JR Bay. <laughs> that was a light story. Because I got out of that one. I can tell yeah. you about the story about the, the chick and Lombard. I was digging down for a whole year and learned a whole lot. And she was 40. Mm. Mm-hmm. And I can tell you about how some of these older women, they, they think they got it all. Mm-hmm. But... When nigga just come over to your crib and smoke weed and get pussy, you get mad. <laughs> but you mm-hmm. set the rules. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. But, yeah, yo. Some do pie. Episode 48, bang. Anything else? Nah, that's it, man. Make sure you rate, like, subscribe, download. Remember, man, at the end of the month, we're going to pick one person. We're going to go ahead and get y'all some. We're going to send We're gonna send a piece of the merch. But other than that, man, you go get your merch right now. Um, 20% off. Um, shouts to everybody who cops some most. Shouts, shouts out to um to um Ryan. Shouts out to ASAP. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He, he copped in some merch. 5X, nigga. That's yeah, why I, I know it was him. I know he ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> so I know he ain't lying. Yeah. Nigga, that debate your mother gonna be big as <laughs> Fuck <laughs> it. We got it for nigga, everybody. It's a big it's a billboard on that nigga chest. Like mm-hmm. that nigga, that nigga really gonna turn around and be like, I ain't got time to hear you, nigga. Debate your mother. Right there. <laughs> See that motherfucker from goddamn 10th Park. Yeah. On 17th. <laughs> goddamn billboard. So, man, shout out to him and uh, all of the others who cop that merch, man, continue to do so. Make sure you follow Some Dude Pie um, on IG. Make sure that you're inside the group. And, yeah, man, we out. We out of here, y'all. Yo, 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 it's your girl, Nate Kale. And this is Some Dude Podcast. We out. Peace. <laughs>